Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of, I guess this is going to be on Joe Kakaka. Hello. Or Bro Kakaka, Jim. I guess this is, yeah, this is a Bro Kakaka. Hi, I'm Jim. I'm Sam. And we're joined by two guests this week. Uh, we've got Aeon Star. Would you Yo. like to introduce yourself? I'm Aeon Star. Uh, I typically make JoJo content. Uh, yeah. And we got Tectonic Improv. Hey, everyone. How's it going? All right, so very excited. The reason why I brought you here today into my small council chambers. Actually, no, this is Tartarus. We're in Tartarus. That's where this podcast is taking place. We're on the ground floor. We're going to bust our uh, way up through. Roll the midnight play. hour. It's a, it's a it is the midnight hour. Yeah, this is actually a this is a real-time RPG that I'm going to be doing a live. Hour. What's your weapon? What do you have around you? We only have 59 <laughs> more minutes, Jim, so we got to hurry this up. <laughs> uh, actually I'm kind of right, let's I'm be kinda real. tired that's right true. now maybe we could like do this uh, another time yeah i'm not really feeling like going to tartarus tonight sorry <laughs> well my fatigue i need to use the bathroom first maybe i'll go from from sick to good all right so we are here to talk about the newly announced persona 3 remake the full remake because as we'll I guess we'll talk about there kind of was like a, a port of Persona 3 Portable, oh, but this geez. is a proper remake of mm-hmm. Persona 3, the original. It's called Persona 3 Reload. It's coming out, quote unquote, early 2024. Um, <laughs> we've been given a few scant details uh, from Atlas, but we've been leaked way more. <laughs> so uh, uh, I've yeah. tried to compile as much as I could. Um, L- literally being updated like literally like a day or two before this because of leaks were still coming out. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, so yeah, I think uh, before we get into like the actual discussion about like what we've heard from the remake so far, um, I just wanted to kind of let's go, let's show our cred off a little bit. Let's talk about like like why do we care? Like why do we give a shit about Persona Three being remade? Like I know there's been kind of like a long trip, but uh, anybody want to want to throw their hat in the table? Um, um, you can go first, Jim. Sure. Yeah. I mean, host. I'm, I'm definitely going to be the guy who's an asshole, and I'm going to be like, oh shit, I shouldn't have cursed in the first fucking two minutes. Beat me there. Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely one of those guys that uh, is like a Persona Three favoritist. Like, I played that one first. Uh, I played it after like the Persona hype started to kind of bubble up. I remember I, when I, I was think, in college, everybody think- was like talking about how great Persona 4 was. This was pre-Persona 5. Didn't I let you borrow my like PSP for you to play 4 one of them at least? Yeah, yeah you... it was 4 at least. Yeah, that was after I played. Yeah. That was after I played 3, but I got um Persona 3 Fest on the PlayStation Store and played it and it was the first time I'd ever played a Persona game. I never played like a Mega 10 game and I really liked it and I finished it after uh, having to take a break for a year because I <laughs> I studied abroad and also got stuck at the final boss fight. Really? There was a funny I, I do remember because I remember you were talking about your complaints and what because I I only played the portable version and Jim was like I can't control my party member like what are you talking about I I'm, I would say control my party member you gotta check your options like no I, I don't have it. ladies and gentlemen so, yeah. we have been recording for about three minutes and we have finally brought up that you cannot control your party members <laughs> in Persona Three. Well, you well That's you guys could and I could I had I had the Chad <laughs> PSP version. Oh, we'll I feel talk I, about I the was... Chad PSP version. Oh. I was gonna like uh, I did want to preempt that because I feel like that is like a, the much discussed. It's kind of like I want to compare it to how everyone bitches about Navi and like Ocarina. Like, <laughs> everyone, the first thing people are like, oh my god, Navi so fucking annoying. Or like and Donald Duck doesn't heal me. What the hell? It's, and it's, it's like, like the it's like the lightning rod complaint for Persona yeah. Three that like yeah. everyone can be like, oh that's so annoying. Am I right, fellas? And exactly. then like you know you get. You get some people be like, yeah, I didn't like that. But then you get like other people who are like, well, actually, it's real, realistic. You I mean, I argue and... for it on a conceptual level. I do not argue yeah. for it on a mechanical and implementation level. I think that's a really fair way of putting it. I think it's like fucking fine. Like I had no like real issues and except with the final boss, uh, <laughs> which whatever. I don't want to talk about that right now, but that's just persona final bosses in a nutshell. Though. That, yeah, that I, one's I mean, next level though. Like, yeah. like the four and five final bosses are nothing compared to whoever the final boss is in persona three. <laughs> it's a mystery. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have to play the game and find out. 
<laughs> all right that's actually something we should probably discuss uh are we gonna do spoilers are we gonna wait till the end let's be a little spoiler light in the first section and then once we start talking about like changes and stuff we can yeah we to... can be a little more mm-hmm. you're gonna have to talk definitely about some yeah. spoilers by the end but the trailer the trailer really only showed the first two party members you you have in gameplay right like, mm-hmm. and showed a little bit of, of like another one but that's it but so conversely, like as I played Fest first, uh, Sam has only played Persona Three Portable. So oh, you've Sam. only played Portable. Yeah. Um, okay. So at the time, uh, my sister's boyfriend at the time had a PSP. Let her borrow Fez, and she played the FemC route. I she let me borrow it when she was done with it. So I played you know the portable version. It didn't have like the little like avatars. It was all just like a visual novel like thing. Yeah. But I enjoyed the combat a lot. So like it didn't bother me, and the story was really good. I, I don't know, it's weird, at that being my first experience, it didn't bother me at all. I thought that was was, was Persona. And, and you, like, played as the, you played as the male character, right? Yeah, I played male C. Oh, it's funny because the game, like, instructs you. It says, like, or I don't know if it, like, object, uh, uh, like intentionally It recommends it, it... you don't play as the Fem C first. Like, it, Which, yeah. honestly, it says... I, I don't remember. It says to, remember like, it, it's meant for, like, people who've played the game already who want, like, a new experience. I mean, obviously, right. you can hmm. just play FEMC, but... You can, but I do you think that's right, the right call to make. Like, I, I feel like the mill MC is better for a first-time player. Uh, hmm. Like, a lot of the social links are a lot more shit. Uh, yeah. But, also the, um, I think you mean guy- but Soul. <laughs> because, but you don't have any of the guy... Social links, right? Yeah. If you do the mail C, yeah, you and don't, then, you, you don't get none, those, which is frustrating. Which is a good change that they seem to be making with this, but we'll get to that. But yeah. uh, but yeah, Persona Three kind of the you know a big resonance with me because like my first anime convention was like a lot of like Persona Three was like huge at the time as well. Like my sister cosplayed FemC, and like my first That's figure cool. that I bought at a con is Thanatos. I still have it on my shelf oh, over there. You have nice. that like cool huge figure. ass Thanatos. Yep, That's bad. Yes, I do. I considered <laughs> buying that when they did like the re uh, the rerun a few years yeah. ago but it's so fucking big i don't have room for it it was <laughs> big a lot of chains you have to like click some things oh, in there yeah. and i'm just like this is gonna like if i even look at it i feel it's just kind of like crumble but no, it stays up pretty well and looks cool as hell but it was like my first big con buy with like that and like a t-shirt and that was like all i bought there but it was awesome and but no i and also finding out that like the romance option choice i picked was like the one of the least popular ones <laughs> <laughs> Do we um, say who we like, romance at some point as well in in our first playthrough? Oh, we can. Well, we'll get into that. Wait, so okay. was well, that that was the first Persona game you played, though, right? Yeah, yeah that was the first one. Then I, when I got a Vita, was when I played Persona <laughs> Four Golden. You um, you played Persona Three Portable when it was like new then. So like what, like early twenty ten? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that sounds about right because I didn't go to a convention until like twenty eleven, twenty twelve. I think it was like the first one. Uh yeah, so it adds up. Yeah, oh, that's dang. old head. Uh, I guess uh, <laughs> I don't He's make me feel OG. old. But um, yeah, no, that's a I compliment, did... Sam. It's a good thing. <laughs> but but yeah, and then I think I I told I think I you know got Jim eventually to I'm so happy Jim eventually got to play it as well. So yeah, there, as I said, like there was a lot of uh, hype around because I think uh, Ultimax just came out. So oh, yeah. there was a lot of hype in my God. college video game club about Persona. Oh yeah. I have and Ultimax. <laughs> ironically, this is, I don't know if ironically is the right word for it, but um, so I was a, a German major and um, a small major like that's a really like tight knit community. So you get really close with your, your uh, like cohorts there. Right. And we would have to do like a video every, uh, like a video, like kind of a uh, final project. And one of my friends was like really big into Persona and like literally just like filled the fucking soundtrack video with like all the Persona 4 like free time music. <laughs> <laughs> and like going back and bomb. watching it, I was like, oh my God, he's just playing like all the free time Persona 4 music. <laughs> Everyone loves Persona music. They it's, sound it's like great. a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. I've, I think he did some speed running think, here and there, but, but so, oh, also I think I even have a a coaster and like from like the persona like oh three, yeah like, card oh, cool. coaster the 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 uh, uh, tarot cards yeah they're really yeah. cool oh yeah those are like the pre order bonus for the, like with you got Q? you got half of the well, tarot cards for pre ordering Ultimax and then you got I have the those. other half for Persona Q that was some oh my god right there I ha- yeah. also I <laughs> I have, didn't know um, that. 
fun story. I when I pre-ordered like the Ultimate Edition of Ultimax Two, and then my 360 decided to die, so I never really got to play uh, <laughs> the uh, Ultimax Two. At least I had the PC. blow up. I have the blow up Teddy that's like on my like bookshelf. Top <laughs> of it. It's like halfway deflated, looking like he, like that little model they have of him, like oh flattened. yeah, yeah. When he gets fun, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was a pre-order bonus, or, or like I think that was, yeah, one of the pre-order bonuses was that's a punchable so Teddy, which yeah, is the, a very good pre-order. Bag. They yeah. knew what they were doing. They knew. But all right, someone uh, Aeon, do you want to talk about your history with Persona? Uh, you seem, sure. to, you seem to like the franchise. Yeah, uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh so you said uh you uh started in like 2010 i guess like for me it would have been like a decade ago that i first got into the series uh yeah that was for me too mine was like 2013 i think is when i played persona 3 right uh yeah 2013 uh i believe my first exposure to it was uh through a like youtube playthrough of persona 4 and -hmm. then from there uh i moved on and i played p3 for the first time uh through the ps3 playstation store uh Mm -hmm. as well and that is like how i got hooked into the series uh which so like when like, the initial hype cycle for Persona 5, that was probably, like, the most invested I've ever been in uh, the yeah. release of an upcoming video game. Uh, and it was too. upcoming for a while. <laughs> it was upcoming for a long time. Uh, like, Sam will I, still send me the screenshot that's, like, it says, like, winter 2015. 2014. 2014. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a cursed image. God, when you're saying like let's plays, I like I think one of my earliest Persona like let's plays I've seen was like the best friends play Persona Four on like the machi- on Machinima. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there there was the that one uh, the giant bomb, uh, endurance run of Persona Four, which is how I think a lot of people got into it. And there was also this one guy, his name was like Navy Boy, who did like a playthrough of Persona Four. Who uh, was that? It was pretty big at the time. It was around like when uh. Persona 4 Golden had come out. I think the person that I watched was like Super Genius or something like that. I don't oh, remember. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I, my first exposure was Persona 4, but like my true, my true love is Persona 3 FES. Uh, Definitely, it's my too. favorite game of all time. Like, I I think with no comparison, uh, Fire Emblem like five occasionally gets in there. Uh, slips its way, but like I, I think Persona Three is the one that's had the biggest impact on me. And I, after that, I got invested into Megami Tensei as a whole. Uh, so a lot of Shin Megami Tensei proper games and a bunch of spinoffs and whatever. Hmm. Hmm. All right, and uh, Tech, if you wanna finish it up. Uh, yeah. So, um. My start with, like, Persona and, like, Mega Ten and all that stuff, it started with my brother, my older brother. I don't know how, but uh, he stumbled upon or just started watching, like, this playthrough, this Na- the Navy Boy playthrough of Persona 4, and got into the series that way. So he bought Persona 3, and this must- would have been back in, I think this was pre-Golden, so this would have been, like, 2010, 2011 he got this game. And uh, so I saw, I-, I watched him play the game for a bit. And, like, I tried playing it uh, back in around 2011 or so. And, like, I think I got to the first uh, full moon and, like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And just stopped <laughs> playing it. Uh, <laughs> and, and never picked it up again. But I was very aware of the Persona series because my brother would play them. And uh, we lived in the same place at the time. So uh, I'm, I'm aware of this on the periphery, all, all these, like, Persona games and stuff. And... Uh, it's it was only around twenty twenty yeah because that was when the pandemic happened uh, twenty twenty when I was like oh, you know what fuck it I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play the game so I started with Nocturne I played Nocturne and then I was ah. like I'm gonna play the other Persona games I'm gonna play Persona Four my favorite Persona but, game Nocturne yeah my, <laughs> the be- the best one definitely uh, so I played through I played through Golden 
and uh royal i think had come out like either had either come out like a few months ago or maybe like last year at the time so i had that and i was gonna play it and then i thought to myself well i should probably play persona 3 before i play persona 5 or else i'm Homework. going to be pulling my hair out <laughs> uh and like you know i i knew basically everything about the game by the time i played it so it wasn't like there weren't a lot of like surprises for me but even still i really liked the game i thought it was i thought it was really fantastic i um i don't know if it's my favorite persona like game to play i it's definitely my favorite story uh Mm-hmm. And it definitely resonated with me the most. I made a I made a video about it even. Like a, a separate video on top of uh like another video where I just talked about a bunch of other RPGs I played that year, which had Persona Four and Five. Hmm. Uh but yeah. Uh it was a it, it's a game that resonated with me a lot. I thought it was a really fucking fantastic game. And uh I'm looking forward to this uh remake. Oh, controversial take. No I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll I'll be the one to say it. I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, it it does. I I will say it, we, it does look good. me and me and Jim had a few uh passing remarks when <laughs> like like knee jerk reactions. Uh, when <laughs> mine were, Jim, I had I had hella hella knee jerk reactions about yeah. like they removed the fucking gun barrel thing. Jim, Jim was literally doing this to me too. Of like. I don't like this shade of color. I'm like it's, it's like, fine. yeah, I'm such. I I'm can't so believe they I'm, I'm changed like, the lighting in Tartarus. Yukari's like, portrait's not perfect. I'm like Jim, it's fine. Yukari's I'm, portrait, I'm like, I think, looks really good. Yeah. Out of all, like, hers, out of hers all actually, yeah, really I think hers looks the best. I think Jim I think Junpei's looks awful. I think Junpei looks fine. I I he just something's know, up I know with that, his like, face. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> I, I don't know what been yossified. But like I, I think it's the biggest, uh, like the biggest change is the fact that oh well, he's also at like kind of a strange angle. So I don't know if like there's other portraits of him because I know Persona Five had a uh, had like se- yeah yeah that one where he's like kind of leaning up. I don't know. May- I, I think there will be like other portraits that maybe give you a better look at his face. So here's the two that I think we have so far. I like that one. Um, uh, the, I honestly, actually, one, the surprise one looks fine actually the one with him smiling isn't too bad something looks really off with the with him frowning <laughs> like <laughs> something something went wrong there i think he's surprised i think what it, it what it might like it, it sort of maybe is is that like junpei's design isn't really like too stand out and i mm-hmm. think that's just the case of like it's uh, the it's the first like persona hashino game or whatever or like sojima's first was this the first time so uh Sojima did uh like the main art for uh I believe so yeah for a, uh Atlas game cuz I know he did like supporting stuff So yeah I, I uh I think it looks pretty good I I I'm think... a bit I'm a bit miffed that they like lessened his goatee Oh uh, yeah uh, like, I, I need to see he some, like, looks a bit too baby faced He's too uh, estrogenized. They estrogenized <laughs> my J- Junpei. Because like uh, I so he he didn't look like he belonged in the class, but I also like <laughs> found that to be kind of uh, interesting. Yeah, because yeah, like back it leads times. all the way up to his bottom lip. He had a bit of a growth spurt early on. Yeah, so, you know, he's and got, I, oh, he's got I, the I chain that was, wallet like, cool. too. <laughs> <laughs> that that made him kind of unique. Wallet. I don't know why he needs a chain wallet. I don't have any money in this wallet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I but you said like I thought you were gonna say like this game is is like Persona One was the common joke though. Oh uh, no! no all, right, all, right, all right, all right. This game effectively like like killed like Persona One too. So yeah, like... I've never played. I've never even touched Persona One and the part part it was a duology of two innocence which i feel bad I, I, have, I know it feels uh, so bad yeah <laughs> all right all right so now that we've established uh wh- what cr- persona cred we have we need to also <laughs> lay our cards on the table and say all right all right look i played like an hour or two of innocent sin that's a, that's the most <laughs> amount of persona one and two i've played i don't really like the battle system in it i'm sorry like the story seems cool but there, there you go i just don't, i don't really like the combat in in the 
the old Persona yeah. games, or even like old Shin Megami Tensei. Even I don't know if this is like an old internet mentality that I still have on me, but like there is like a, a bit of shame that I feel like, <laughs> like oh, I have not en- I have not engaged with the original two. No, like, who cares? I, I, who cares? My opinions like, are really? not as valid. As well, yeah, <laughs> no, the, like, it, it comes listen. from like this idea that like uh like there be these people who play like Persona, even just Persona Five. And uh, we'll, like, only give the other two uh, games the time of day. And it's sort of like a gatekeeping mentality where it's like, oh, you yeah. need to play have the, that the... shit for, like, every game franchise. Like, yeah. same shit happens in Fire Emblem. Uh, same <laughs> oh, shit yeah. happens in, like, I don't know, Mario. I mean, you don't know Marth, Roy, and Ike all came from Smash Brothers, right? Yeah, oh, it's, it's, stuff like, it's stuff like that where <laughs> it, it, I feel like deep down it really just comes from like a place where people who like those games just want other people to play those games. Right. And yeah. it, it, it does get... I, I, I know it, it gets a little annoying when people don't give your favorite game a time of day. I'm sorry. I'll play it one day. Like, I've when been on... The, uh... Uh, both ends of the spectrum, like I said before, uh, Fire Emblem 5 is one of my favorite games of all time. That is, like, a needlessly obtuse game, uh, that appeals mm. to a very specific ty- type of person. Uh, I am currently a on masochist. chapter, uh, 11 in Thracia, I think. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, good luck. Something like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh but, like, I- I- I've also... Uh, I when I played through one and two, uh, it was like at the very beginning of my journey with the series, and uh, one I didn't even beat. Uh, like I got very, I didn't get very far in. I didn't like how it played. Uh, two I beat. I barely remember anything about it. Uh, I, I thought it was good. It, it didn't really stick with me to the same degree that the other games did. But you well, know. I will say, is, like, uh, survival, is my Miles brother. Made very, yeah, my brother actually did play Persona One and Two. I think he even because uh, he had the PSP versions of those games, <laughs> mm-hmm. and I think he even had Eternal Punishment. I don't know if he beat that one though. He definitely played it because uh, I, I I've seen the magnificent dub that game has. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think my sister had Persona One on PSP. And she's like, I did not like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I think like every when I had the Vita when I was desperately looking for games like on the marketplace to buy, I always saw Persona Two both of them on there. I'm like maybe, and then I just like just didn't buy them. It's because they changed the damn soundtrack. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> no no one likes the the school day song in Persona One. I think it's bloody petty, destiny but I'm sure ruined you, uh... me. I like I like it. <laughs> I don't mind. It's it. good. No, I I think it's genuinely good. It's just it, it kind of sucks that they didn't leave an option for the original. I think I there's think... definitely like a greater discussion to be had about how like as franchises that span decades age like parts of them just become like totally not inaccessible all all the time but definitely like they're not the main event certain like, genres just age immediately harder. yeah yeah like immediately I thought of Mission Impossible and like how I mean I think I've only I've literally only seen the first movie really but I know that the uh, the series takes like such a different direction as it's gone through like literally two other decades. So, I don't know. I think that's kind of an interesting discussion. I don't don't know if we need to have that discussion like now, but yeah. games games age way harder than movies. Like you could, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I don't know if this is just like me being uh, different from most people, but like I can sit through uh, an old black and white movie and not like feel oh, age. Yeah. Uh, I, I I they don't typically like interest me at the same degree, but like. I, I can still appreciate them more than just, like, a product of their time. Uh, mm. With a lot of old games, you really can't go in with that perspective. Because, like, mechanically, uh, they are very held back by the hardware they were on and what they could do with it. Definitely. It's like, Metal Gear, to me, is, like, the big example uh, I was, Gear... was going to say uh, like Final Fantasy games, like a lot of the early, yeah. like the, early, the first like three are just like very like very minimal like RPGs on the NES that are like don't age well or like aren't fun to play. It, it's interesting you bring stuff like games aging well or whatever because I I do hear that a lot with even something like Persona Three, like especially the the battle, like the not controlling party members thing. People will usually say that it hasn't aged well, which. Uh, isn't necessarily like the critique or like angle I would take with 
yeah. The, yeah. the battle system because like it wasn't it, that wasn't like a, a thing at the time either it was like a very right. deliberate choice to it's to have crazy. you do that i and, think like, it was a poor creative decision it i look i not get poor what they're decision, doing but yeah like <laughs> i get what they're doing with it but like here's my problem with the not controlling party members thing it's not even that like uh uh, marin karen or anything like that it's Mm. it's that it's like boring it's just kind of boring to see like your other party members just like like sit around and see them do stuff that 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 was always my thought whenever i played through uh persona 3 is that like i i like i like the idea behind it and i think it's fine conceptually it's just that it's it's kind of it 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 just makes for a less engaging game, especially when yeah. you have to climb through 200 fucking randomly generated <laughs> floors of the same dungeon. I think... There's no, like, expression. Like, yeah. it's not like... I'm, I'm thinking of, like, other games that kind of do... Like, I'm guessing, like, uh, I think the new Final Fantasy VII games have, like, a real-time thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, each character is going to be playing differently when you're not controlling. Like, right. like they're different speeds, they have different attacks. But with this, it's like... You you know that they've got like five abilities. <laughs> like yeah. you know yeah, that Junpei that, is going to yeah. use his physical uh, like attack. Like, but it also like depends on like the AI of like if they actually will use the weakness right away, or like maybe you don't want them to waste their like mad your mana or their MP and like yeah. just, you know, they're just gonna like waste it. I I think it trades like uh, the sort of like tactical uh, aspect that you need to be as your player character, uh, like filling in whatever niche. Uh, is required of your team at any given point in time. That's an interesting tactical thing, but it get, it causes so much like de- to detract from like the overarching strategy uh, yeah. when you're so mm-hmm. uninvolved with your other party members. Like especially the like the plus one or whatever it's called. I can't think more. of it. Like the yeah, sorry, one more. Right. Like that is like like literally the system and the battle and like. Not being able to maximize that is kind of frustrating. Like, like when I was streaming, uh, like Royal forever ago, like it, like doing like boss fights, like buffing and debuffing, like the strategy of like you know, altering the like, like oh that's something I have to like strategize. But like you know, in that game you can't do that in like the old three. Right. Uh, like each that. player, uh, each uh, team member has their own niche and performs yeah. it, and like you have to weave with the flow of the battle but you have a plan going into it uh persona 3 it's a lot more that you just have to like go with the flow as it comes at you okay i have a question for you guys that played the, the original version then because like, i guess has like her special mode that she goes into or game mode. Did, mode. Did, did, did that or, just go randomly into it no that was a tactic you had to select yeah you you tell yeah. her okay. to go orgia okay i wasn't sure that was a thing she would just just go into <laughs> Because uh, I, I that's very much like, a, and I sure you played like Final Fantasy Nine, but they oh, have like yes. a trance system yes. that once you reach it, you just automatically just go into it. Yeah, uh, that's how is it that's portable? Yeah, you just waste it. Well, you What's can that? control you can control your party members in portable. So I assume right. like when it's I guess's turn, you can just you can just select yeah. or yeah mode. Yeah, you is it a button and she goes into it? I can't remember. I, but, I I didn't play like the entirety of portable. I just like looked up a lot of the changes uh i think the tactics are still in portable yeah tactics are still in there you could right. still like you could, if you wanted to you could have them be like ai controlled so it's but... the same. what's yeah what's funny is that in persona 5 even like all the way up to persona 5 royal the default battle system is the ai party members so like yeah, even but all the way also, up like, until they also just like guide you in the tutorial be like hey the you might want to switch it over to this. I think Royal just does it by default, though, doesn't it? No, I played Royal, and they they just started they it started on uh, AI party members. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I remember them doing that as well when I was doing the play. Even for it, like new party members, like when you get uh, Makoto or anyone after, that still um, you have to switch it because I feel like that changed. I think yeah, I feel like that changes. I yeah, think I it's like... um everyone like once you select mm-hmm. like control the party members they uh you you get to control them like all i i don't really remember all my point is just that like they really liked that idea and they like kept it all the way until the end basically it and feels like a challenge uh sort of a, a challenge <laughs> yeah, run like, if you're playing it that way though i wonder if anyone's done it that way they, there's gotta have been people who have 
Yeah. There needs to be a catchy name for it. It needs like a Nuzlocke kind of name and then people <laughs> can, Yeah, can it. we get like Gnarly on this one? <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. But that's gone now and reload. I, I feel like <laughs> we forgot oh, yeah, that yeah. we're talking about well, this. Well, uh, you know, that's, I wanted to kind of guide our discussion. Alright, well, to... well, what I want to know is like, is it completely gone or is it I think just so. an uh, option now? It, I Well, t- Let's be honest, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, but, like, you know, I, I just I, mean, like, is the, it gonna pro- be, like, royal? There's absolutely going to be the option to, like, use tactics, uh, like, pretty much every other uh, mm. modern Persona game, but, like, no, uh, it, you're gonna just, like, yeah, it, you're gonna just use the main direct commands. We need to start, like, a, a gatekeeper hashtag <laughs> movement of, like, <laughs> Only real Persona 3 fans play with the tactics mode on. Oh my like... god. It's just the whole current Street Fighter modern versus classic controls going on right now, is what you're describing. <laughs> oh, it says it in, in the fair. dossier that you can use the, the classic battle system. Okay. Yeah, so it's the same as like Persona 5. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even remember writing that. That's that's cool. Okay. Well, I, I'm glad that's there as an option. Because um, like, even though I probably... I, won't play with the the tactics I, I i do want them to be in the game still because right i i, I respect it. the vision i i don't think there's so, any reason to like fully remove it besides like uh, i'm sure it takes a bit of like, programming time to make that be an option but like they have the it's based on the game where they already have the sort of thing so they know mm-hmm. what they're doing already so I think this is a really good transition, actually, to kind of start talking about the confirmed or maybe semi-confirmed things that we know are going to be changed in Persona 3 Reload, or at least what features kind of have been uh, soft confirmed, let's say, for that, right. um, and what changes have been made. So right. it's funny, like, I think it's worth saying, like, there was a whole hilarious rollout of uh, information for this. So maybe, was it March, I think, where there was a, a tweet going around with a... Uh, which looked like test footage of Yukari doing like a yes. uh, an attack. Uh, yeah, it, it came like from a, um, an internal uh, like meeting, uh, like from investor Sega, thing. I believe. Yeah, Sega. It was like a clip, like a bunch of clips from a bunch of games, and that was like just Sonic like in there. and Jet Set Radio. And yeah, Jet Set Radio. Apparently, yeah, yeah, that's, that's real. right. Oh yeah! Wow, I guess that like soft confirms Jet Set Radio. Yep. Uh, so Hell yeah, yeah. we, we kind of had this like it was like the worst kept secret in the game industry <laughs> that there was a Persona Three Reload. I think it was Famitsu who even basically like. Okay, I just want to some... say, real quick, one thing. Uh, the name Persona Three Reload is fine. It should have been Persona Three Rebirth, I like it. though. It really should like have Reload. been. And I blame well, they didn't Final Fantasy Seven. Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, I I blame Final Fantasy for us not getting that. <laughs> Well, that, yeah, that's all I have Atlas to say. Who, like, uh, smash his fists on the table. I kind of like reload because you know it's like like a gun, you know. I, no, I get. I, I like get the it. gun forward, the the gun forward aspect. I think in my, because for years I've always been that guy that's been like, uh, I mean, like Persona Three, it's a little old, I guess, but it doesn't really need to be remade. And if they remake it, they're gonna like change shit. They're gonna take this suicide thing out, like <laughs> where they blow their brains out to activate their persona. I, you I can't never... take that out. Yeah, like the, the, the game's the whole... the, not the same game then. I always heard people saying that, like, oh, they, they, they'll take out the Evokers. It's like, if they ever remade Persona 3, of course, now we know, so I can't really, like, lord it over people, but, but like, there's no way they would take out the Evokers. No, it's too it, it's, iconic. It's too, like, it's too into the game, you know? Like, like you, you would have to completely change everything. I don't it's know. It's like remaking it Persona 5 that... without them being Phantom Thieves anymore. Like, just also, leaving them they, like, in their civilian clothes. It's also, illegal they, to be a thief, though. They it's, in, they shouldn't <laughs> encourage that behavior. It's problematic, also, yeah. Also, if you see the cutscenes, them removing their masks, it's like bloody. It's, yeah, it's extremely painful. <laughs> We're getting really disappointed going from three to four and seeing all oh, all they do is crush cards in their hand. That's kind of boring. <laughs> it, it, yeah. it is really boring in four. I I, I don't know the symbolism the that's supposed to be involved there, and like your true self is you. Uh, there's no symbolism with that. The symbolism is more within like the glasses and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get Go, that. Going from from what I've seen in like you know J- the Japan, they love their card gimmicks and card mechanics and stuff. I've True. seen it in a lot of Tokusatsu stuff. Is Shovel Time gonna be back? 
Oh, oh, it better be. That's one thing actually, I keep thinking Actually, that's a about. good question. Because uh, we don't have uh, like typical Megami Tensei uh, demon uh, negotiation anymore. Mm-hmm. So are we just like going back oh, to true. Persona 3's yeah. system? We probably are, right? So. Yeah, because so, yeah, there uh, probably won't be to... hold-ups or anything. Right. Yeah, even though they have guns now. Um, <laughs> but so, <laughs> the MC would not want to negotiate with them. There's no way the main <laughs> character would want to negotiate. Well, they're with not going to be demons this time. It's going to be the shadows again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I assume. So, anyway, uh, as, uh, as, so yeah, as, right. as we're kind of. Oh, sorry. Uh, what as I was saying, uh, but like, I, Reload's a totally fine uh, subtitle for it. And like, it, I like it. It fits, whatever. But like, Rebirth is like the thing with persona 3 like that's the theme that's like the like outside of just the aesthetics that's like what the whole story is about but have you thought about that guns are cool i, I mean and i like i like to reload them in video games like but like Call of listen Duty. this is my like revolver ui all right i gotta i gotta <laughs> be like this about this Right. All right. I'm gonna be honest. That, like, I didn't even know it was supposed to be a revolver until <laughs> it was pointed out to me. <laughs> well, so, don't worry. It's a moon like, now. You said that like for your Final Fantasy Seven did it first, but they they announced like the three game titles way ahead of time. So I think they got word of probably called re- rebirth at first. Like, oh no, we gotta get it out of there first. I so they can't they claim announced it. Them ahead of time. You know, I think they announced. You no, know, they just said uh, remake. Yeah. Yeah. Also, they d- said it wouldn't be like remake two, and everyone was like, "All right, it's gonna be like rebirth or like what's the other one?" Uh, it's rebirth. I think it's reunion. reunion. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Re- sure. reunion. That's probably gonna be That's part funny. three. I don't care. I, I, I feel <laughs> like rebirth's a little on the nose. Yeah, I like reload. I, I, it's kind of it yeah, harkens back fine. to the kind of edgy you know, you nature. Don't, of you don't it if it was good enough for the fourth movie, it's good enough for the remake. All right. I thought that was the first one. No, uh, it was Spring of Birth and then Winter of Rebirth. Oh, okay. Okay. I forgot about the Persona 3 movie. <laughs> well, oh, honestly, I the fun. fourth one I did actually. legitimately really good. Like I have a the really fourth funny... one's good. Okay. <laughs> the fourth one's good. <laughs> <laughs> Skip the I first a, three. Just go I have a funny... The um, I, I guess this is back in like 2016. Um... And, like, I think the second or third one had come out, and there was kind of that funny period of time where, like, sometimes you could get away with, like, uploading shit on YouTube that was, like, copyrighted. (laughs) But, like, the title had to be different. Mm -hmm. So, I remember the title of the video for the Persona 3 movie was, like, uh, the Part 3 movie. It was, like, uh, a realistic documentary about Iwatodai Station (laughs) or something. Like, it was, like, one of those, like, I think I remember that. Yeah. (laughs) Like that, you would need to like know. You'd have to have a direct link, basically, because the SEO is like just non-existent for it. Right. But yeah, I remember t- enjoying them. Like as far like normally, like any adaptation of a Persona thing, I think is like inherently just shittier than the game. True. Just just play the game. True. There was also a time where me and Jim yeah. would watch. Like, it was a YouTube clip of like the Persona Three stage show where we would just watch this oh one God, clip of like the stage shows. show in a nutshell. And it was just like it was like Fuka is going like or going at opera, like saying what everybody was like fighting shadows. It's like yeah, very Fuka funny. sings the fucking like Velvet Room theme. I, she does, I like, don't an know how those things are so popular in Japan. I I don't understand it. Like it, it's incredible. It's cool, I guess, but like. <laughs> Really? It's so funny how weird it is. <laughs> Part of the clip too is really funny because it's like the main character and then like Igus and like two other people and they're just literally like in Tartarus and they're like standing in the same place like standing in place but they are running as their characters and they like run in the unison like they turn at the exact moment. It's <laughs> it's just very funny. I have to find the clip. Uh, it's like the most no con. It, it, it's so bizarre. I don't. I don't think it's there anymore. I think they probably got taken down eventually. Oh I think there God, was like rip. a Persona Four one, and they had like everything going on in the screen behind them, like actual yeah. like personas being summoned and stuff like they, that. They, they did one for like the the uh, Ultimax as well. They did like the fighting game. Oh my God! They've done it for everything. Like they like I remember seeing like. I no. love seeing pictures of like the stage play uh, cast. Like I see like Naruto like stage plays, and like, the cosplays look amazing. But like when you see him in action, it's like the weirdest thing. Oh man, you don't understand. But- you gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have a manga adaptation of the stage play adaptation of the fighting <laughs> game spinoff of. <laughs> 
Please, yeah, okay, I'm gonna include clips of this in the podcast. This is so funny. Click the link that I just sent. Like, it's timestamped when they start running. It's really fucking funny. Oh, like, I need, like, a Who's Kingdom Hearts version where, where they're doing, like, oh. Kingdom Hearts. Like, like, she even does, like, okay. I, I, like they're running in place. Oh, yeah, they're, sh- they're like, shadow guys. This? <laughs> they switch off. I'm pretty sure they switch off they like switch? every other scene. I'm pretty sure that's how they do it. They switch off the. M- oh the no, MCs. she's with Ken. <laughs> oh my Get God, him out of there. Well, I love that the the stagehands are just holding up like the shadows. Yeah. That's really awesome. Uh, that's cool. Oh. I like that. I would kill. I would kill money to see this live. <laughs> kill money. <laughs> I would kill money. Uh, it's just, it's it, stage plays are like the most fascinating thing. <laughs> They're really interesting, but like I don't know why you would want to watch one. <laughs> it's because you're a big fan. You you love seeing I those love characters. Persona you uh, don't I can I can can. <laughs> it's my favorite <laughs> game. You couldn't pay me to watch this. No, nah, I would totally that and like any of the Danganronpa ones. I would fucking in a heartbeat. Oh I would watch God. them. No, um, actually, okay, but, okay, no, to, you're right. I I, I want to totally watch it, but just for like the sheer novelty factor, I wouldn't like go to these consistently. Also. Also, the Persona Four versions of those have like a Teddy like awkwardly like, stumbling around the uh, the stage. Is, well. Some poor, <laughs> some poor guy in the, in the Teddy suit. It's a giant ass Teddy costume. Yeah, they're like literally like, stumbling around in. It's actually Ben Affleck in the suit. He just never <laughs> takes it off. Uh, but, all right, I'm gonna use my Fishman Karate to like redirect the the tone of this podcast. Not the tone, but to redirect the focus back to like. <laughs> Uh, the changes. Can we so, talk about, about, about the biggest, probably the most controversial one. So what's okay? Hey, one hey, thing hey, I want to say. Talk about fatigue first. <laughs> we did. That's not controversial. Um, that's like a relief. <laughs> but so no, I like fatigue, like, and I'm mad they got rid of it. I like I like fatigue too. Okay, let's Jim, talk you always like because you can use the bathroom to like. Tear it off. So okay, when I the bathroom so better do I was something. streaming Persona Three. It better do. I was something. recently streaming Persona Three and. Um, I had a lot of fun with the fact that you could use the toilet at any time and it would potentially boost your your <laughs> tiredness. And it became like a meta joke for me where it was like when you streamed Mitsuru, it. Mitsuru was like inspecting your like like poop and making oh sure God. that like you're healthy. <laughs> like she's uh, like, All right, everyone needs to be healthy. Make sure you use the bathroom before uh, you go. This was not you, the angle I was wait, I was where going. You walk with. out and she just stabs it with a rapier to get it out of its Oh God. <laughs> Why? She has to make sure you're healthy. She's she's checking in on you. Uh, um, but so, like, okay, but flash forward, flashback back to the the leaks. There was all this stuff about. Um, there was all this hype. Oh, is there a Persona Persona Three remake? Then we had um a, like a big Xbox thing or whatever, and it was Jeff Keighley's big night, and he he <laughs> fucked up. He didn't give us Persona Three, but then it leaked like an hour God later anyway. DoorDash. So that DoorDash thing is really funny. Actually, <laughs> not, I can't lie. Uh, really but good. so yeah, like it's just funny that like all of these Persona Three things ended up leaking like before they were supposed to be announced, and then about a week after that, we actually got a few interviews with the staff. And the one big thing that was kind of like the big question, like where's my FMC? Like where's my the answer? Um, one of the uh, current, or one of the uh, I guess producers uh, confirmed that this is in fact a remake of the initial version of Persona Three. So. Uh, it is not going to include FEMC, nor will it include the answer. But, um, and I'm glad they actually made this distinction. They clarified there this are elements, later, by the way. Yeah, after there had already been like a fucking shit fit uh, on Twitter. Hell <laughs> firestorm. I, all right, so it was like Sunday or something after they announced the game. And like, I, I, I was, uh, <laughs> I went to go see Spider-Man. And I, ent- yeah. I entered the theater, all was well. Exited the theater, and there Everything was no FEMC, and everyone was mad. <laughs> and everybody died. All right, all um, right. Hold uh, on, hold on, listen up. Wait a minute. Aeon Star here. I was very angry at the possibility that the Aeon social link was gone. Um, okay, yes, that was... And that may have something to do with... <laughs> Uh, me branding everything about myself partially uh, through that. On the other hand, it's like the only good social link besides Sun. <laughs> it's true. You guys are haters. It's a very good social haters. link. Haters, haters of the Persona <laughs> Three social links. <laughs> no, I love the I love the old man that was definitely a warrior in World War Two for Japan. 
<laughs> you're you're, you you're, many war you're crime. slagging on Tanaka. You're slagging on the monk. <laughs> you're slagging on Maiko. These are all great social links. The 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 old couple. That's a great one. And the rest uh, of the are Imperial awful. Japan. They're the, the first time they ever did social links. Gotta cut them some slack. We're not getting fucking masterpiece theater here, except for the yeah. sun, which <laughs> okay, is masterpiece fair. theater. <laughs> fair, but uh, like, come on, they gotta like remake. Mo- I I think from what we've seen, at least with like the like one line Kenji drops, that's not in his original I, social link. So it well, seems. It's, when I saw Kenji, I was like, "You get here." <laughs> I, <was so> <laughs> I saw Kenji, and I was like, "Ah, yes." <laughs> I hate um, ten, ten, I hate so, ten rank ups like of Kenji. him thinking that he has a shot. <laughs> if anybody like, oh, I love Kenji. I'm like, you are a liar. <laughs> Kenji is like so. Oh yeah, Yuko social link is also good. Kenji, the the fat I don't mind kid. Yuko's. What's the name of the fat kid? Uh, Do, uh, all right, here's Zomi? the thing. Is he the moon? They, yeah, yeah moon. no, no Zomi. Make here's, here's what yeah, they need to do. <laughs> they need to make Nozomi worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I actually true. To be no, you're right. <laughs> rock bottom. <laughs> they need to know. <laughs> Make him give, go give. full Eric Kurtman. <laughs> oh my god! Just voice him, but get get the oh, South Park guys to actually voice him. It would it was, make him. It would make him win. What's interesting though is just like they use for the other characters. They just swapped them out of like the Femsies social yeah. links. Like Junpei is what Kenji's is with the magician. Uh, oh wow, that, that's, that's always been a weird thing to me for uh, the social links. That like all the social links with the party members in uh, in Portable are like not their original Arcana, which kind of just like I, I understand why they had to do that, but it kind of just like that's weird in my head. Hmm. Yeah, I get you. Uh, I I do think it's pretty uh it's pretty lame that you can only like and we all know why you can only social link the girls in Persona Three. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> it, it's still pretty so, yeah. lame, but on the other hand, it at least means that you you get like progression in the story of their characters, so that mm-hmm. like their ultimate personas are are tied to plot instead of just uh right. which I prefer stuff that you can't even access. And yeah, I prefer I I, I do like how they do it. And Persona Three, even if it means that you don't get a social link with uh with like Junpei or whatever, at least in the mm-hmm. main so, game. And and I I do like the Aeon social link, so I'm glad it's going to be in the uh the remake. I would have. I'm assuming thrown a fit. Like Elizabeth and stuff is like Elizabeth's going to be in there as well for her like. Oh her yes, link. the dates. So yeah. yeah, it's it's speculated. I guess this is like technically not confirmed. So it's speculated that the Aeon social link will will be back in. I think the they're as good as said that it's back in like. Uh, oh, okay, that's good. Um, the Komaru walks, which it's funny because like some of these things, um, like the videos of doormates, like I didn't even know that that was like a fest thing. I I just assumed that was in the base game because I never touched the base game. When right. I was playing um, through fest, uh, and you, they uh, when you can like access those like video scenes. When I was watching them, I was like, these are definitely like re-release shit. It's something about them just sort of feels <laughs> like uh, like. Yeah, second, it's, it's second kind stuff. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. extra character interaction stuff. Uh, I believe, no, yeah, I like that. they explicitly said that uh, it's going to have like FBS content, everything except for FMC and the answer. Like those are the two things that fine. are not DLC going to be baby. In. Yeah, people, uh, people are really mad <laughs> about about um, FMC. Right. I, I think less people are mad about the answer. <laughs> Listen. No. Well, first off, nobody has played the answer. Like that's my brother. I did. have. <laughs> Listen. I uh, I started the answer, it in person. I'm it, sorry. The answer, <laughs> mostly crap. But listen, there's some good stuff in there. Uh-huh. You get to play <laughs> as <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah, you're like yeah, Chris. Good. You're Chris Pratt with the dinosaurs approaching. Like, listen, hold up. <laughs> you, you get a new Lotus Juice song. You get a new one. Oh hell yeah, that's true. I guess has which also speaking attack. of which, not to divert too I guess much, has but... cool new metallic armor that it doesn't make sense that she would need that, but still. I honestly don't really like the body armor, but eh, it's not, whatever. It's, it's different. It's a little overdesigned. Not even overdesigned. I, I just I don't know. I, I I I just don't think she looks that good in it. 
I I do have a question of like one social link related thing if you think is going to be in there. Are they going to do reverse social? Oh, they fucking like... better. Mm-hmm. I hope they do. They should have yeah. They should have never gotten rid of that. <laughs> no, they got to have a harem ending on Valentine's Day where everybody's just pissed off at you. Uh, that's. Listen, I feel like something I, like I just that hope will that... end up being in the game. <sighs> I, I, I they they should. What they should actually, have... it's possible, isn't it? Yeah, that that could be a thing if they wanted to make it. Yeah. Did you do you end up doing that for your first playthroughs at all? You had like... to. Like, yeah, if you, you wanted to you... get all the social links. You had to. Like, there was no uh, platonic version <laughs> for any of it. That's which so I think funny. I think That's they'll right. add. Yeah, they uh, better. So the, the turn yeah, that's the like girls. one of the worst parts of the. That's so funny. I forgot about that. <laughs> you just kicked out the social link. Completion yeah, I think it's crazy. mandatory. Uh, I think I cheating. maxed out uh, Yukari's, I guess, and Chidori out of all the girls. Uh, the the rest of them I didn't get lucky with. <laughs> it's just like the whole like reverse and the freeze social link thing. It feels like such a humongous punishment because like every time you do a social link, you know there's a chance that you won't even level it up. So the fact that you're even you're like guaranteed to like have to do extra work it's so I, it's right, like they, so cruel they've said at some point that like they uh i think it was in a famitsu article that for the remake they wanted to make it more like uh persona 5 in that like you can uh easily well not easily uh you can get the like full completion of social links if you tried rather than like p3 where mm-hmm. you need a guide yeah uh the original so, game was really strict yeah it like I don't yes. think I've ever gotten full completion on that, but uh... that's one thing that I was doing when I was doing my stream was the, like really meticulously checking every zone because there were social links in my first playthrough. I missed probably like at least three or four social links. Period. <laughs> like I just right. didn't even find them. Uh, you, which is you like have to crazy. map out your uh, entire year if you want to get yeah, it. And there's some that you have to have stats up to a certain amount to even like right. get to do. There's it's like hard to do it on new so game plus. I don't think they. I think they specifically say in that interview where they mentioned that that originally it wasn't intended for you to get full completion. Although, like, I believe isn't it. Orpheus yeah. Telos isn't that a requirement, or can you do that like New Game Plus? I, don't you, know, it's been I a think while. you can. I think you can do it New Game Plus. Hmm. Uh, it, it, it strikes me more as like a <laughs> wow, uh, good job. Here you go. And I don't even think Orpheus Telos <laughs> is all that good anyway. Yeah. It's, uh, I really it's a like recolor. that they took a Breath of the Wild. Uh, they took like a Breath of the Wild <laughs> approach where they were like, "Like, hey, yeah, we know you're not going to do all these social links, so here's like ninety of them." <laughs> uh, but like, if they're going to do that, then there has to be something like they're probably going to move a bunch of stuff to the evening, right? Uh, uh, and those that seems logical. I can see that. And also, like, uh, the problem, right, like with a uh, uh, golden, where you can, yeah, get relationships up. Uh, Sam Sam will know like <laughs> like when I was doing my because Sam would join my little my streams and I was uh, replaying Persona Three recently and there's such little to do at night you literally can like only go to the mall at least you in the first like games. quarter of the game yeah yes oh literally the one I think you can do without wasting time is the crane game so I would just Use nonstop play money. the crane game until I got like every item it was so fucking awesome but yeah it just like. There's definitely a lot of real estate at nighttime to right. shift some social links to. Uh, <laughs> also, like they mentioned that because we're not like getting portable content, uh, they're specifically doing stuff with the male party members where it'll be akin to a social link with them, so they can actually like flush out their stuff. Yeah, uh, I like that. So, like, you still get the content. That was in uh, portable, but like it's rewritten mm-hmm. for a male, uh, the male protagonist. Are yeah, are they yeah, going to and that can probably be at that night. stuff? Uh, they are said they like something about like we want to keep their uh, like all the information about their backstories and stuff like that. Like they said that specifically. Oh, that's interesting. All of the all of the Akihiko bonus scenes are just him like talking about protein powder, and we all oh, like God. Protein. <laughs> don't put the that evil on me. <laughs> don't you put level that evil on you, me? Level ten is you and him snorting protein powder together. And it's, it's like, like wow, Akihiko, out. you're such a cool character. Gosh, <laughs> they mutilated uh, my boy. 
Oh my! I think the the expectation that there will be like I don't want to say substantial, but like we we've seen in one of the the few clips, um, there's like a, a Yukari seems to be like a Yukari cooking thing Thank that happens potentially at nighttime. That feels more so, like uh, what's it called the Dojima? Yeah, uh, Sojima. Or no, sorry, not Dojima. Yeah, so, what's his name? Sojima. God, so, yes, the Dojima uh, the, Like coffee making and curry making. Kit. So yeah, I, I think that there's definitely going to be like significant quality of life, um, re, like restructuring what or whatever. Shitting like going that, to do. Like that. They better not just <laughs> leave it. As shitting doesn't do anything. Shitting needs that's to make up, me not man. tired. You can't do uh, that. I, <laughs> yeah, I want my thing to go to great. I want to feel great after shitting because that's how I feel in real life. You know, I assumed you he get, was like, just washing his face. It never occurred to me that he was going to the bathroom. <laughs> But I guess he does flush the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he flushes hard. He, flushes. he hard flushes. Um, hard flush. That's definitely the implication. I'm just like, the, so you can like cook with like, I guess other people there. I'm just like, then what are you going to do with entire Fuka's character? She's going to be like, she girl bad at cooking. Isn't that funny? Oh, oh yeah. My they're going to put that on all of the female characters because that's all Atlas knows how to do. <laughs> it's all, like, never had a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, writers know how to do half the time. That's what that Isn't tweet. That really such a tweet thing in that Fire girl Emblem, can't like, walk. It's that one tweet where it's like all all women born after 1993 <laughs> know how to do is like, can't like they could. They were born in like 94 in this game. <laughs> It's funny how like yeah, Fuka can't cook, and Yuma series never had a hamburger. Like their social links in the original one, it's like they're so probably gonna fix them that. up. They're gonna fix them up a bit, I think. Like I guess this is the only one who has an excuse to act like such a weirdo. Yeah, everyone else does. <laughs> you, Yukari goes. She goes through her trauma and stuff, and like everyone's like, I've never had a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's equal. Equal levels of character growth yeah. are happening. <laughs> equal levels, sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, one of the quotes that we got in particular was uh, remake of Persona 3 is like for the modern day. So, quote unquote, <laughs> the same level as Persona 5, which in, in a vacuum, the, the quote, same levels Persona 5 caused like a mini controversy. Persona yeah, 3 gets woke. Did. Because people are just like, oh my God, the casualization of Persona 3. Good, like, casualize it. <laughs> I'm more scared. I'm more scared of like how people take some of the Persona Five stuff, and then, and then how they're gonna take the stuff for Persona Three to like ship. Like I'm gonna ship the main character with like Revolver Jesus, and I'm just gonna like. Oh, oh my god! Please do something with the fucking Strega. God damn. <laughs> yeah, I hope the Strega sucks. Sucks. We, have, we have so much time in the afternoon. Like for well, third of Persona them are good. Three, you can do so much with that if you really well, like, want to flesh of them out are good. the game. Chidori's fine, and then they Chidori's also ruined good. it in first. Uh, but... <laughs> One of them has a briefcase. That's pretty cool. Yeah, right I don't guys. even remember he stupid grenades glasses in there. guy's name. Skrillex. He Jin, keeps grenades in there. It's That's Jin. awesome. He's oh, is it Jin? I think it's yeah. Jin. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? I, okay, all right. <laughs> I don't think we've made our thoughts on... Jin and Takaya. Or something like that. Yeah, Takaya is Revolver Jesus. There's Jesus. a reason why no one calls them by their names and just calls them by like Revolver Jesus and, and the other <laughs> one. And the one and with Chidori. <laughs> and Chidori, yeah. They have good themes. What were you saying, Ted? Uh, well, I don't think any of us have made our thoughts like on the big omission like very clear. Like Sam, hmm. you're the one who played Persona Three Portable. So like what do you yeah. what do you think about how there isn't gonna be Fem City in this game? The thing is, like, my FEMC knowledge comes from my sister playing mm. through that one, because I was on a borrowed PSP, so I really only got through the mail side, but, like, she would tell me, like, I would watch a little bit of her gameplay and tell me a little bit about, like, there's whole cut scenarios of, like, the, the whole different stuff about, like, the female, like, uh, spa trip and everything, and there's, like, uh, especially the Shinji social <laughs> yes yeah i know about it's gonna that. be really weird that's probably have, one of the biggest i have like, a big issue things. with that whole thing but that's spoilers so yeah it's... i th i think i know what you're talking about and uh i i just agree it yeah uh, <laughs> on a on a blanket level so, which like, like it's, I, it's not it's, even it's a, a unique to portable thing because uh yeah uh fes yeah. does something similar which i don't mm -hmm. like but don't like that either yeah. But it, they, it's they weird. Atlas been ruining Persona Three since two thousand nine, <laughs> guys. And they always yeah. like they coward out so often. Like they have something yeah. so good, but they like refuse to do something that might upset people. 
Yeah. It's frustrating. <sighs> they they just don't want to do the work. I... It's, it's it's funny. I don't know because FemC as a like, growing up with somebody that like loves the FemC route and like you know having a female main character in a Persona game meant a lot to them so they could have their husbandos. Mm-hmm. And, like, That's really good. I them. like that a lot, but like. Uh, all right. It's just another way to play the game. Like, there's game. There's very a lot of few games have like you could play a completely different res- like, yeah, perspective. I from... I find Femsi really interesting because they're not just like a female version of the Persona Three hero. They are an explicit yeah. foil yes. to the Persona Three hero. Uh, there's yeah, a reason why people people were posting a bunch of like the the dialogue from them from like. I think she only Fez or from uh, the portable version, and the uh, she appears in Q two. So yes. and they're getting supposed to clip from that. Yeah, that was the only other thing she appeared in other than portable. <laughs> it's funny that she's like so different because like I feel like lately I've seen kind of a meme about like these any sort of RPG where you can pick your gender and it doesn't mean anything. Like all the NPCs will just call you they them like by default. Right. Like. They never they um, they intentionally choose they to not use work pronouns. They put portable for uh, Femsi. Yeah. they really I, did, I, which is part of I'm why to... she's not in Reload. But What's there's funny, new music. I'm, I'm there's whole social that. links. Jim of like games that like, you know you pick you pick a character creator gender it doesn't really matter anything. For like, FF14 actually has recorded lines where they will say a, like a take for he and a, and a take you know a take for she like the. That's pretty impressive, that's pretty especially cool. for a game like did, that. 14's great. Fire Emblem <laughs> like Three that. Houses do that. Uh, or, or did they then well, they them it? I think they did. Uh, he, yeah, I think I, they did. I know he, they. She. I know I they, they voiced have every lines. single line in the game. They so. did. Uh, they did it for Three House. They did not do it for like Awakening or anything. The ones where yeah. like your character actually is a character and not like a silent head nodder. Yeah, but not a lot of lines <laughs> in that game were voiced to begin with. At least not as much yeah. as. Uh, I, I yeah. think Nodder totally sounds like, like the... a slur. <laughs> <laughs> 14, 14 has a, you had dialogue for your character, like one line, but they mostly do nod and fist clenchers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they specifically say that, like, for Persona 3 Reload, apparently uh, it's going to have the most voice acting to date, which is on the dossier oh, yeah. right here. Uh, and. Oh, this sounds like a good transition. I think. <laughs> to the next topic. No, uh, this is still like. Uh, with regards to like the FMC, uh, I don't think that you can have both. I I don't think yeah. that's a lot of work. That is well yeah. beyond like the budget of the game to do something like that. <sighs> all right, and, well, and it, it's a do right. the percent of five thing no. where like your char- it, the MC had and, like the all right, or, like I like that, like that random like one or two dialogues. And I'm not saying that like justifies it, right? Uh, I still think it's like very kind of like silly that like you have basically an entire half of the population that you're explicitly not catering to anymore because of budgetary reasons uh and it like really sucks for them and just like in general a lot of what femc provides for the game is uh significant and makes it better in a lot of ways uh so like but i do like kind of understand what they're coming where they're coming from in that they want to make like the original game uh the best version of it yeah. that they can it's kind of it, frustrating it, though that what that leaves us anymore. with is uh <laughs> just like instead of a definitive version we have just the same shit again where there's just like two optimal versions and now there's a third one well, well, you know what Atlas wants to do? Atlas wants to make the largest acronym ever, which is FEMC DLC. No, 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 no. They're I don't do think the royal that's happening. Like, I just thought of having... it more and more. I don't think that's happening. No, it's going to be Persona 3 Akimbo, which is going to be the FEMC version. All right, all right, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good subtitle. I, I think my check in the mail, Atlas. I, all right, all right. So, so here's... So here's where I'm coming from with this. All right, so I've never played Persona 3 Portable. I never played the FEMC route. I don't. I, I basically all I know about it is that it's pretty complex. Like it has a lot of stuff that's, that's yes. different about it. All right, yeah. Uh, yeah. And like, oh, also you share inventory with Ken. So okay, you share I don't know what that means. <laughs> listen, oh, you share the last we talked about Ken with FEMC. You and Ken. Let's not talk about Ken right now. All right, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I I get the idea. That okay, it's a lot of it's a lot of work to do. However, yeah. this this isn't like two thousand nine Atlas anymore. Atlas are fucking stars mm. now, and I don't think anyone would really object to the idea of like delaying the game however long <laughs> it takes to put 
femcy in the game even as oh. like personally like i would probably wouldn't play it like this doesn't really <laughs> affect me because i don't really i didn't play portable i don't i'm not, I'm not a girl so you don't have that attachment <laughs> I, I don't have that attachment so, but like i i do feel for people who really like it and i don't think i don't think it like goes against the themes of the game or anything oh, or anything it absolutely like that. does not go against the themes of the game it's like, it's literally fine yeah. but atlas just doesn't want to pay the voice actors any more than they probably have to and, and it's well. uh it, it is like a shame that like persona 3 is just kind of like uh scattered to the four winds of like which version you want even with this like <laughs> remake idea even if i'm like personally not really cut up about not getting the answer of mc uh because I... fuck you got mine <laughs> with the aeon <laughs> social link <laughs> uh no but but i actually i i do empathize with uh with like people who are who are cut up about that that's I that's people, really all i, I wanted I to could say live. Well, did people think when persona 5 royal when people thought it was gonna be a femc for like persona 5 that's oh, what yeah. they thought kasumi was for a yeah. bit yeah it's crazy how like that one decision to make the femc route like it is such it's a, like a domino humongous. effect. It's, it's been the number one It really one is. Request. Like, yeah, it had like huge knock-on effects for the franchise. And like, I really would love to see, especially in like a Japanese, um, like how it affected the Japanese market. How many women picked it up just to like play that role? Even yeah. though the game is no, like, well, I know like, that like the Persona series in general already has like a pretty high like percentage of female players right. as mm-hmm. is. So, so I like, assume that I mean everyone knows that femc is popular like atlas yeah. knows that people like her so it's it, it's definitely a case of like they just don't really want to do it because it's a lot of work probably right. yeah. but i think i think it would just be worth the effort that's that's really where i, I stand I it, think. it kills me because like i i really think that persona 6 should probably have like uh a female protagonist uh just because like building the game around that uh i think is really appealing and would make it stand out a lot more but like i know they're not gonna do it because that means that they either have to not have uh like sell the whole waifu shtick or whatever or they have to make their protagonist explicitly bisexual which they're not going to do oh oh, perish the thought perish the thought of that (laughs) ever happening japan is super weird when it comes to having like uh, you're you know you have a, a long existing franchise you're like oh we're gonna have a female main character and you get super weird about it like i i know there's a couple series like that where like they talked about oh we wanted to have the first female main character for it and then japan like no they're sure like no you can't do right. that think of the men and they're like okay think of think of the men <laughs> oh, no. that's what they yeah. said the men. that's the what john men. atlas said I th- John. John I, I think it would I, I think it would be cool if like persona six or whatever like the next persona persona sex Some persona sex base. yeah just ha- has like the choice i think i think it's time i think persona is is plenty popular to justify the extra work for like a, a gender option but that's kind of like outside a, of the scope of this discussion they do like a duo protagonist or something weird like that of like a male c and a fem c together yeah i just mean like like, like pick at the beginning of the game i don't know like twins or something you pick it yeah like astral chain yeah, yeah, something like that. Maybe, maybe like have that. a baby both be playable. Like I don't know. Uh, I, I don't yeah, need it. I don't I, need I any more annoying mascot animal characters that aren't the Persona Three. <laughs> God one. damn! Just get yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done with, with them. I fucking hate Morgana. I don't like. I, I'm putting my line in the sand there. Morgana sucks. I hate Morgana. Teddy's like, cool. Like, Morgana sucks. Teddy's, compared to compared, after Morgana, Teddy's like yeah. I bet you all miss Teddy, huh? <laughs> at, 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 they're playing Persona 3 I'm like they did the best animal character ever by n- being a good boy <laughs> yeah he's he's cute he fights for you he's you, got you a know fucking what, knife and you know what uh, Arena did to, did with him they gave him a nice little jacket and it's the best thing ever yeah. <laughs> it, it makes wanted, up for the nice fact that they jacket. put him with Ken yeah that is really <laughs> yeah. funny Yeah, and that game Ken became like a heartthrob soccer player in high school <laughs> I need to dive into this though. one day uh but all right i've yeah. seen all the character designs but um kind of went on so... a, a tangent there but yeah oh, wait, 
but just one little side. It's kind of like the big thing, like the the FEMC thing is like a huge the FEMC question. That was like, all anyone huge, was talking about. I said the the one yeah. side note I was talking about earlier, but where like she doesn't use like the sword that your character the male C does. She uses the Naginata, like Ken does. So you share like oh, a yeah. both of those. So oh. you have to buy two of like his own weapon for you can use one. Well, in in it's, Fest, it's really interesting. Uh, the main uh, character can use any weapon. Yeah, I, for, I right. forgot about yeah. that. Yeah, that's kind of a Wait, thing is that too. People think to that. Fez or was that? I think, I so. think so. I did not have that in my in, I, I uh, don't, the PSP version. I didn't realize that was a change made uh, from the original game to Fez. That's yeah, strange. Fez has like a lot of like small changes like that that I feel like most people don't know about because because I've been wondering. Uh, no uh, one's played Persona Three since Fez yeah. came out. Yeah, the original. yeah. there's no reason to. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. not really. Unless you like, unless you really don't like the because you know the, the Chidori You know, stuff. at the time, <laughs> at the time that FES was the definitive edition. Weird how that works, yep. huh, Atlas? Yeah, strange. Uh, you know, I wonder. Um, last I checked, you could actually still buy new copies of Persona Three Fest on Atlas's Amazon page. Let I think they do. Uh, yeah, yeah, they right they now. reprint a lot of their PS2 I think I have games. One of those, actually. I have yeah. a I have a copy of Nocturne that they were selling on their uh, Amazon page for twenty bucks. Oh my god. Uh, that's uh, fucking awesome oh my god yeah 33 really cool. bucks oh my god literally you could yeah 33 bucks you can get fast that Four is so shipping. fucking cool how ba- okay everything bad i said about atlas i kind of <laughs> this is really this is really rad that they would do that it, it, it's just kind of like it kind of shocked me because no one barely anyone does the oh my god all right hang on hang on i, I have to share this because i'm on the i'm on the page right now all right, so I'm on. It would be very cool if Nintendo did that with uh, Path of Radiance. Just saying. Well, th- this is kind of what um, I'm saying. Like Square Enix has like had printed like old copies of PS1 games that went viral a little while ago. Like these companies can just do this. Yeah. And um, and, so... and they just simply choose not to. But uh, hey, hang on. Before we go anywhere with this, I just want to share that uh, on this Amazon page with uh, the account I'm signed into. Uh, it has a notice where this this per, a copy of Persona Three Fest was last purchased April fourteenth, twenty eleven. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm not that's sure. That's awesome. Any of you guys clicked on the on like Atlas's like page to see what other stuff they sell? But the first thing that popped up is a song called "You're a Fucking Bitch." Hope you know that, that shit. shit. Hell yeah! <laughs> and then did me wrong. <laughs> Bitch got me down bad. <laughs> Um, and then 13 sentinels for 21 dollars oh yeah that's a steal everyone play 13 sentinels aegis rim play it right fucking Uh, now play uh, it very good persona 3 play it's very good oh i'm sorry i gotta spend 100 bucks on arcana hearts on ps2 and uh right under is best fucking summer (laughs) one (laughs) review for five stars Catherine full body for 27 bucks on switch Uh, that's that's a good deal this is like the most like mind blowing thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Like it, it, what you're saying, like companies can just do this. Is this like, song called Oh No? I guess I know what happened like... to all the 3DS sales that they used at, to do. At least, at least they can Wait. do it for PlayStation games. There's a song yeah. called Oh No, which is a thumbnail of a guy in a bush holding his phone out of it. <laughs> I don't know why they have this random music. Oh, they also have Atlas Shrug Part One. Um, <laughs> <laughs> same genre. That's, that's, cool. That was what Atlas uh, did when people screamed Thanks, about FMC. <laughs> <They shrug>. Atlas. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, that's good. And we have to end it right here because it's not going to get better than that. No, oh, we got so much more to talk about. <laughs> no, we talk I mean, no, I'm kidding. Can we talk about this, the the super hot topic that involving the voice actors next? Then <laughs> yes, let's do oh, yeah. this because oh right. yeah, it's Sorry, going to be everyone. weird. Like the yep. fact so, that they're getting an entirely new dub cast, it's going to be weird. Like there's no other way to yeah. go beat around the bush with that. Like. For so much time, we've had like this established uh, idea of what all these characters sound like. Yeah, but at yeah. the same time, I, I, <laughs> this is probably for the best. There's two. There's two uh, in particular that. Uh, it, it, yeah. There's two. There's two in particular they <laughs> had to change. Like yeah. No if and or but. Well, all right, all right. So let's. Uh, so uh, Junpei was voiced by uh, Vic Mignogna. Uh, Vic Mignogna. D- disgraced voice actor Vic Mignogna, Vic Mignogna, <laughs> as I used to I call graced. him. I can tell you from, 
from uh, knowing people that interacted with him. I knew, I knew people that had interacted with him at cons, and yes, he is that much of a weirdo creep. He, yeah, uh, the, the stories <laughs> seem true. He's gotten taken to court, and it's all gotten thrown out. So I'm pretty safe in assuming Listen. that that guy's an asshole. Fuck he, is. I could, no, he exposed I had personal himself people on the live stream. I don't think like anyone's still defending him at this point. There, the, he's They're got shooters, shooters, dude. I've seen them. Even still, <laughs> yeah. he's got shooters, and it's yeah, fucked up. They're wrong. They're wrong. Yeah. They're wrong. And except <sighs> they're either in knowingly wrong or they're just misinformed. Yeah, it's yeah. So like, I basically as soon as this remake got announced, I was like. So who's getting, uh, who's voicing Junpei now? But then even, <laughs> even still, my second thought was... It's everyone. Karen Strassman's also kind of weird. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, who did she do in the original? I guess. She's, she's I guess, She's dude. I guess, she's not oh, a go. that's right. Yeah, that one hurts. That one actually hurts ah, because... One, yeah, like... She does a really good job in that game. I, I agree. Yeah. I agree with the fact that they got rid of her. But at the same time, I really like yeah. the voice. Yeah. I really, I really like I the voice. So, like, yeah, uh, it's, it's this lady armor. named. Uh, is, so, I, I should just say, like, most of these voices, like uh, these voice actors, I think are like newbies. I don't really know did, a lot of. Yes, them. I know. Yeah. Jim, did you send uh, them that? There are some that, like that, that are video. pretty established. Yeah, right? yeah. I know who. Um, oh. Zeno uh, Robinson is that his name? Uh, uh, the guy so. voicing Junpei. Uh, I know him because he played a. Uh, he played Fagato in the new Fire Emblem game, and I thought he did a really good job. So all I'm right, actually yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to him. Yeah. He all seems of, like I cool think all actor. of them, like I, I'm optimistic about all of them. It's just going to be hard to adjust. Yeah, that's it. A Lager, a Quark. I know. I, I'm. She probably Jim posted a video to me that, about uh, she's like Dorothea. the person that. Yeah, yeah, she she's pretty well known, I I think. But uh, there's a video of like a guy going through the voice cast and playing clips from the games they're from to kind of like maybe see how similar the voices can go, and like, like a lot of them Feather were really or someone good. Who made that? Yeah, video? Feather did that with uh, uh some lady I don't know her name. Mm-hmm. But uh, there I, were a few I like or not a few, but like just going down the list, like I like I Alice can definitely Lee a hear lot. it. It feels like they're doing kind of a lot of sound alikes, and that's the thing too. It's like. It's so hard when you like the immediate comparison. I think I brought it up before we started recording. Is Ava like mm. the Ava? The original Ava dub is like extremely iconic. It hit it like a very like important time for like the industry. Where like it's just one of those things where it was very small at the time, and like all those voices are like so tied to those characters. And then Netflix just like sight unseen was like without even like any announcement. Yeah, was it, like, it was oh yeah, like this is like a. Dub. I mean, it's not yeah, the first time for dub. Change the voice actor though between games. Yeah, uh, cause, like Igor got recast every single fucking game. Um, Chie. Chie got recast. Naoto, I think, too. <laughs> Within her own games. <laughs> yeah. I, and I remember that was like a big deal at the time. People were real, did not like uh, I, I, Chie's I new voice. I still think the new voice is better. I, I don't care. <laughs> I like the new voice. I think voice. people are yeah. mostly, it's new voice. It's like over a decade old, but like, I don't like <laughs> people, yeah. are, so I don't... people are used to it by now. That you were. But new you know, that, new Super Mario Bros. It's just kind of like a, it's just kind of like a, a dichotomy or whatever. Just like a common occurrence where like you change something, people are gonna knee jerk like, oh, I don't like it. And that that's exactly I, yeah. I, all I can hope for is that uh, I don't is is that I adjust very quickly to this new cast because <laughs> yeah, I yeah. really like the old dub of Persona Three. Uh, we, if she if she I, can nail the Ace Defective line, I'm gonna be happy. Like, yeah, yeah, Michelle. That, Roth, that's all they gotta do. If you get Ace Defective, you're good. <laughs> Fucking I mean, Liam Ryan is fantastic in that game, and I I mm-hmm. I heard that like he's retired from voice acting, like he only does voice direction really? now. I I I heard I saw people saying that, but I didn't I didn't see like a like him come out and say it. And I know that he does he voices like his critical role character in the Vox Machina cartoon, but that could just be like one of those exceptions where. He kind of uh-huh. has to voice that guy, but uh, yeah. so like maybe that would like you know, uh, Vic and Karen to a lesser extent uh, are weird, uh, and <laughs> Liam <laughs> Liam's retired from voice acting. Uh, Fuka's voice actress is like sixty. I mean, they they were doing it all the way up until like Ultimax and Persona Q. I have no doubt that they could still do the voices. It's what right. what kind of bugs me is that the Japanese cast is the same. 
Oh really? Yeah. No, I oh, don't wow, think that's a fair that. thing to like. Judge I about. I know it's like, different over there, but we have it different does, circumstances. It does kind of bother me that that the the English the English voice actors are almost like more expendable than or like they're just. Mm-hmm. I don't think respect. that it's fair to say that they're expendable. I think it's more so like. Like, if you have circumstances, I, I don't remember, was it, like, Rohan's uh, VA, uh, both in English and Japan, was it? I, I might be misremembering this. Like, there was some oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything don't about know. this. Uh, the JoJo dub, I'm not really like, I know no. about the, uh, there's that, there was a Pier Taki or whatever, who played, like, a character in Judgment, got, like, n- uh, like, persona non grata because he got caught with uh, with cocaine or something. Oh, like he literally got patched out of the yeah. game. Yeah, over right. There. So I, I know, that. I know that like it's like, like the voice Japanese side is... will do it, uh, yeah. but like they're not going to do it if they don't have a reason to. Uh, yeah. The English cast has a reason to. So like, but what it, I but, but then we have Yuri Lowenthal. He's still yeah, in that, the game. That's what I was going to mention. <laughs> uh, apparently, He's in the game like as, people have been saying. Next. Uh, yeah, Yukari's dad is voiced by Yuri Lowenthal, which, like, <laughs> it's weird, but at the same time, I think that's really cool. It's like, yeah. uh... Well, that's... There was well, a certain, wanna... like, I forget what, uh, where the, like, father of the previous voice actor of something, I think it was, like, Urusei Yatsura or something, the Japanese version, uh, uh, that, for the yeah, new anime so. that they did. The voice actor for, like, the parents of the protagonist hey, uh, check out my podcast. were the original, that, the yeah, were the <laughs> original uh, like, voice actors for the protagonist. <laughs> yeah, that's... Like, and young, Lum. Oh, that's so cool. That, that's, I didn't know that. That's cute. Uh, like... That is really my, cool. It, it's my kind of like that same read. thing for me. Yeah. My my cynical read on the recasts uh, was that they were non-union, and that's why they got I don't, replaced. I don't but think if that's Yuri, the case. if Yuri's in the game still, I don't think that's the case either. I think so, there's just like so many characters that they had to uh, that they had to swap out that they were just like, all right, let's just like do an entire clean break, clean break cast switch. Uh, so that, like, it's not weird that we have, like, half the cast is a completely new voice, and the other half is the old voice, uh, and if we want to bring back old voice actors from the original game, we can still do that and give them different roles so that they're still involved. And And I I think that's the best way to do it. I don't have a problem, like, in theory, about, like, recasts. I think, I think it's fine, uh... Oh, of course, I lost my fucking train. I mean, he's kind of mirrored. Well, exactly what you were saying, Tech. Like, I hope that I adjust to it. Yeah, I, I, like, I just. I think that's. Uh, I think one that, play that or maybe I'll play the good. Japanese audio. I, yeah, I just sort of. I, I see. I see. Like, oh, that's a shame that recasted everybody, and then I get sour grapes because the Japanese players don't have to go through what I'm about to go through. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's kind of mirrors uh, kind of another recent game announcement with another voice casting with the uh, MGS3 remake, mm-hmm. and they're just gonna reuse like the original audio. Yeah, instead that's why. Like, are they recording everything? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. They're just reusing the old audio. It's kind of lame. Well, they're not making that's any crazy, like, yeah. updates to like story or anything. I feel like they can just do that. And that's well, that's not a big that's deal. basically what that confirms is that it's yeah. just going mm-hmm. to be a, a quote unquote prettier snake eater, which uh, <clears throat> snake eater looked fine. They gotta use those pachinko <laughs> yeah. cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, that, that's uh... a, that's a whole other thing. I'm I'm I was like look at the list. Like I know Alex Lee, he voices uh Luke in uh, Street yeah. Fighter Six. Yeah. He's like a men- he's like a hilarious menace on Twitter. Like, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's done more for that character than Capcom has of like making people like <laughs> yeah, him. People yeah, people love people did yeah. not like Luke until that game came out or like the, yeah, the it, pre-release at least. His voice I mean, actor, but he kind of looked he, like shit in Street Fighter. Well, 5. It's, it's Street Fighter Five. Everyone looked like shit. Yeah, true. His, like, his voice Fair. actor though is so it's so <laughs> funny though, and like there was a time I think he won like a, there was like a, an event they had, and so he did like the the Luke victory pose, which was just him pointing at like a bunch of different cameras. So he just gets <laughs> up and just points at everything. Boom! <laughs> Divorce. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's literally done more. I think I think Allegra Clark voices Marissa in that game. They did a stream together where she just read like a wrestling promo in her in the the voice, and it was like amazing to That's see. That's really like, funny. It's great. As long as none of them go down the uh, the bayonetta. Uh, <laughs> the bayonetta yeah, yeah, I think oh bayonetta's VA specifically though was like not uh, in the whole voice actor scene. 
Uh, so yeah, she's it, like a she's like a British theater yeah, actor, yeah. doesn't she? So like, like she didn't really get what she was <laughs> doing when she did all attention that. Attention bayonutters. <laughs> what's the uh, what's like the word for that? She was like. She was like trying to like shoot way out of her range. Like she 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 did like a big dick like called their bluff and then they were like uh goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I, it, it's like that that one picture of her like it, like in front of the wall. It's just like the most iconic thing like the moment before she like destroyed herself. Yeah, that that was that was fucking crazy. Bay and nutters. Ah, stop. <laughs> What but, is this? this is oh, have you not? Seen oh, you don't this? know what the? Oh my god, on? you haven't seen the Luke video? What? Well, no. It's based uh, do on you know? the Ryu from Streets uh, thing, where it's like, uh, what's it called? Hey, the the yeah, Zobie, it's like an old video Zobie thing. The Zobie yeah, thing. yeah the, this was one of my favorite videos. <gasps> it's so good. Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and like when this guy like this is his this is luke's voice actor who made this video yeah he's very that's good. really funny yeah, i love i love alex he's great yeah he seems cool like the the voices either i don't know them or i am familiar with some of their stuff and i think they can do it like i think Zeno like, can do junpei yeah uh i think it, that video jim sent me there was like a uh like like one i think ken's voice act actor has like done like a background character of a fire emblem game so he had like one random mm. one-off line like the equivalent of like, the gatekeeper of just having a random one line character nothing to report <laughs> that was basically what the line <laughs> the gatekeeper line is voiced by uh the voice for Ohm. so yeah but it's just He's... but it's just like having one line of like a side character in a game is like their one role. Yes. <laughs> I have to say that I'm I'm kind of like out of the loop with voice actors. I'm not like the biggest kind of like like English VA guy. I used yeah. to be like but that. One thing I th- uh... one thing I noticed that was kind of funny in like one of the little roundups I saw was that two of the voice actors played like two of the robot guys in the newest Dragon Ball movie. Yeah, like the, no, uh, what which I thought was Gamma funny. One and I was... Gamma Two. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I, I was wondering, like, because yeah, we we're kind of you mentioned like, oh, could this be like a union thing? And I was, I was wondering, like, is this maybe just like they're looking for just like fresh talent? Like, who, who is like I think the that's hottest more name? Likely. I. It's, it's just really weird to me that like that's like the I, I don't know, like knowing how there's so many people in the industry that have like huge legacies. It's, it's interesting that they. I would think they're just to trying to uh, take advantage of a shitty situation. That's it. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. S- same with the Ava dub too. Like I want to bring that up again. Like people that were getting cast for that were basically no names, and it's it's kind of insane that like Ava is one of the biggest franchises, and like Netflix at the time was like a pretty respected name, and it's just it's really interesting that they would go that way. It's kind of like how Marvel always gets a uh, like Disney always gets like these indie directors to direct their like huge five hundred million dollar like, movies. Fuck- yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it's just really interesting, like talent pool acquisition. I guess it's it's funny you mentioned the Ava dub because because uh, when all of that kerfuffle was happening when they recast him, I just saw a lot of people saying that the dub sucked, like the original dub. But I remember liking it, and uh, the lady who voices Ray is uh, the same lady who voiced Yukiko. Yes, and yes, I think she does a lot of uh, voice direction now. That's yeah, like I think so. Thing. That or she's just like full on retired. She shit posts on Twitter. God damn. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, she's also um oh fuck for all you digital devil saga heads, she's uh she's oh man, I'm I'm blanking on her name. Oh uh, no, none of you have played Digital Devil Saga. I have not. I, is she the, I got is she very the, early the devil into saga? It. She's, is it she's Argilla the or something? Yeah, Argilla, yes, thank you. She voices Argilla and she does fucking great in that game. That is a fantastic game. Any you should all play it. <laughs> I, w- I will uh, yeah, eventually I, I guess I again. Have, like, I, I didn't get very far when I first played it, but I just wait, got wait for the remaster. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come eventually. We got Nocturne. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping for that because more people should play that game. Yeah, but, but yeah, that video I right, posted, look. Jim. That's the yeah, that's the one that that you sent me with, like the the test out the voice actor cast and like see, you know. Yeah, I'll have to check this one out again. <laughs> It's it's kind of a fun listen to somebody did that like yeah, <laughs> and I oh maybe I'm I might be wrong about this or it might have been a different dub but I remember seeing on Twitter like a hilarious oh yes it was this okay so the the voice actress for um Mitsuru um Allegra Clark mm. um 
I guess certain people on Twitter thought that she looked oh masculine. Oh my god! Oh my god! god. So I, I, in like the most already. the most embarrassing thing happened where people were bitching that uh, Atlas hired a trans a trans woman actress to play Mitsuru when that is not the case. <laughs> like, first off, like what a weird thing to like transvestigators be upset about. are like the scum of the earth. Don't even a yeah. genuine freak shit. Yeah, you're a freak. They're Don't do so that. So weird. It's it just yeah, like I just thought like I, with the persona persona reload, we're getting like every different kind of freak coming out. Like, yeah, through the woodwork. It's the it's the persona fan base. It's yeah, like... I did, persona only grew to get more like insane with their fan base. So it's like really a no win. It's where all the freaks. So I, go. I, I mean, like even not even just like as it's grown, it's always been that way. Well, well, well. Uh, you know, speaking of, uh, do you guys think that Operation Babe Hunt's going to be in the game? Oh God! Oh, God. All right. <laughs> uh, That's a really not. good question. I didn't even think about every, that. Every game has to have really a need that to not be in the game. <laughs> Because that is that's like I guess his intro, right? Well, like, yeah. All right, all right. Like, let, let me let, let me much, say this. You can change, I'm like... fine with it being in the game. I need the quote unquote joke to be <laughs> completely different or gone. That that yeah. That's all. That's what I want. All right, because that on. shit um, sucks. I mean, so with Royal, I mean, Royal right? The, Royal and, yeah, I was the, <laughs> the other the other awful yeah, the, joke. The obligatory. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> Wacky gays uh, joke in the Persona games, the modern yeah. Persona games. I Why say. is that a tradition? Uh, t- <laughs> who can say? Base uh, Japan. They re- and they really had to put uh, Persona Four very homophobic <laughs> Yusuke. Well, that's part of the character. Yeah, yeah they cut that built in baby. Man, they, like, really, they cut out his uh, gay his gay social link. That you're gonna have. He's so sense. in the closet. He cut his uh, his is uh homosexual romance out of the game Man, that's such a good <laughs> character thing but because they cut that out like now it just now it's just him being awful like yeah. when, with of yosuke him, like, especially I, I more so, like out of all the stuff in these games yosuke is the one i'm the most fine with because like it comes across as like it, he's, he's just su- like a teen he's, he's a super like, yeah, like a super stupid insecure teen and right. like the the cut romance would have definitely been like a really good payoff. Right. But I, There's no I think excuse it, for three and five though. Like yeah, it's yeah. just awful, and this I doesn't think, justify it. But granted, for Persona Three, it was at a different time. Uh, yeah. Again, not not justifying it, but like you know, it, it wasn't like but like Persona see, Five has no excuse. Thing. Yeah. So, like, I played Royal for Persona 5. It's different now, in Royal. I think that's just English. I yeah, I wanted to know if it Japanese. was different all around or they just localized it out. I think they just localized it out. I think we can safely assume that if uh, that scene is in the game of Persona 3, it'll probably get localized out, which yeah. uh, in this case, I'd say is for the best. It's a good thing. Uh <laughs> But, like, at the same time... Unless they give it, like, a full-on anime cutscene. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, they double down. <laughs> like, Guys, you know, at least that was... easy. Uh, yeah. Alice is, like, cowardly about the wrong things. Yeah. The wrong things. Alice, the ultimate cowards. Uh, but anyway... Catherine. Uh, Catherine full body. Well, that that's... Yeah, l- l- hopefully... L- another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I don't want to like lay it all on Hashino, uh, because there's like... people like really got were going at his throat, like yeah, uh, yeah. I, I saw and... it, I saw and... it on my end too. But I don't think like it's fair to just like assume that it's all Hashino. But at the same time, if it if it happens that like it's gone yeah. now. After Hashino left, that's kind of suspicious. If it's in, if it's in metaphor, we got. Problems. If it's in metaphor, we got. Problems. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it just it does kind of bother me that like people people constantly post that like one uh, interview excerpt. I, I'm sure you know where this is going. Uh, is the one interview like expert Kai? where he's like, where Hashino is like, oh yeah, I've never talked to a girl or, or something <laughs> like that. And, that's just <laughs> funny. It, yeah, like they really go at his throat for that. When at the very least, uh, he they have like I'm pretty sure like a woman wrote uh, 
a majority of the social links from four onward, maybe even three. So it, it at least shows that like he's aware that he doesn't have the right perspective for these things. Right. And that he kind of, you, you know, he, he gets outside voices for it. I don't know. Which, it, let's it, be it fair here. That. That's interesting. Let's be fair here. Persona is not the type of game that would have been invented by anyone else. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I just, invented is wrong, but you know what I mean. Just people really go hard hard against them and i'm like jeez <laughs> yeah it's like it's, sometimes uh, it's whenever there's like a massive team working on anything uh i don't think it's fair to just like lay it all on the director unless they explicitly say that it was them who decided to do something but at yeah. the same time you know even even like uh kazuma kanako like he had a, uh, uh, I i believe her name is Bagumi Shirahashi or something like you know he had like assistants and like colorists or whatever so it wasn't he wasn't right. just like this one guy that like a lot of people yeah. prop him up as like the god of Atlas or whatever there's yeah. teams of writers <laughs> yeah I, I agree it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not fair to like pin field. one person down it, it's not fair to pin one person down unless it's Randy Pitchford yeah true um, but true. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about uh, like the like, uh, like, like, uh, like, uh, Final Fantasy 14 thing there's like every class has a story and like you know, there's some really bad ones like the Paladin one that people kind of reject that they make fun of in game now. Mm-hmm. But the Dark Knight one is so good that they're the writer of uh of like one of the big DLCs and 16. Mm. So like, you can't just like some bad writing is not gonna be one person to blame. Right. <laughs> yeah. And even when Especially it is like, like it's like usually Persona. just because uh, so like an editor or whoever like oh, either yeah. didn't rein them in or. Uh, made a bad call. Like the, the that's often a big part of it. Uh, also, they, it has to go like, through multiple people. They're also going to be writing like teenagers, which is like yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's also that's a gale, like can of worms bound to cause some issues. But you know, all right. Then hello, fellow kids. Here, here's something. Here, here's something that that pisses me off. Pisses me right off. In Persona <laughs> Four, Miss Kashiwagi is hot. But the game does not treat her as such. What's up with that, Hashino? <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, I, I'm just thinking of, of like some of these that's like, not, socially. That's one of Hashino's least egregious crimes in that case. Wow, I forgot <laughs> Listen, how I forgot how just fucking sexed up they made this woman. Oh my god, she yeah. she has an ugly soul. That's the answer. Yeah, <laughs> an ugly soul. Yeah. <laughs> She she I has thinking of like Persona bad energy. <laughs> I feel like there's a character in each Persona game. It's like one of their like hardcore fetishes. It's just like like the like the the nurse that like wants to <laughs> fuck a teenager. Oh, they 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 have anal uh, in Persona Four. You have anal with her in a uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh oh, you're you're talking about the the sexy nurse in four, the not the sexy nurse in five. Yeah. yeah. The, the uh, real it, sex scene that occurs. I completely forgot about that social link. <laughs> Most people do. It, it is. It it's is not kind a very of good that one. You like do something of, with her. Like, is it? She's not it's a really bad, bad. character. Uh, I don't even I don't know how to go that far. Well, she's there's there's it's like not a good social, social link you, though. Yeah. Yeah, there's three social links you get by doing a part-time job, which is something you never want you never think about doing in that game. I, I yeah. did that. So I did complete that social link. Uh, I don't remember it's there her? being any sort of quote-unquote implications. Just that she's very there's forward, not, just, and that's then just it, like, like a long-running happen. joke. Because oh, like, sure. uh, there's a Joseph part where the Anderson camera stream. like fades to black. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's also propped up by that stream. Oh, but, yeah, sorry. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. not in. It, like, how it, like, dare you not be in the know? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel I feel pretty stupid right about now. <laughs> yeah, they have they have anal sex. Okay, there was okay. her, there's her, and then there's like the kid you tutor, and then there was like one more I can't remember of like the, uh, the tower. That's job. the kid you tutor, uh, and then fuck that kid. <laughs> I like um, that social link a lot. I think that's a really good social link. Yeah, what was the third one? There, the, the third one there is, is like actually really good. Uh, the temperance, the one where you're babysitting the kids, and it's the mother or like the single mother. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it was the tower social link I'm thinking of. I think that one. Tower is the little. I, I didn't get that, far uh, in it, but I read oh. up on it. And I remember it being pretty good. Uh, that's the tutoring one. Yeah, where like the kid, uh, his mom, uh, like leaves him alone or whatever, and they hold the party for. Yeah. 
<laughs> Four's got some good stuff. Four's got some four, good social Four links. has, like, really good social links. Uh, I like Four, yeah. I think Four and Five are about on the same level. Three is, like, they were just starting out, so, of course, there was going to be a lot of duds, but at the same oh, time... Oh, it's got a lot of hateable social links. It's, it's got some duds. I'm, I, like, you know, I, I joked earlier on it. Like, I know, I know, it's got some duds. But it also yeah. has some really good ones. I, I really hope that if they really want to make, like, I, I'm I'm scared that they're going to be too faithful to Persona Three mm-hmm. and won't touch the social links the amount that they need to, because a lot I, of the social links in Three are just abysmal. I I had an idea. They're gonna update the gamer talk with Maya's social link. How are they gonna oh do my the God, voice yeah. acting for that? Are they just oh, going yeah. to do like keyboard noises? Or are yeah, they gonna Microsoft do like Sam. Text Yeah, speech? yeah, you get you get um you get Microsoft pl- Sam from uh, playing- Maya. Do you guys no, think they're gonna amazing. change? Uh because the, the Persona 2 reference in the original They're game, gonna leave the Persona 2 reference, yeah. But that was a localization thing. That was It doesn't matter, uh, they're gonna leave it. Oh really? That's oh, I didn't yeah, know that. it's it's Megami Tensei two in the original. But no well, one I think gets they that in the keep, West, so yeah, yeah, they should keep. Well, no one, no one knows Persona Two either now. No, but like they <laughs> at least released that one at yeah. the point of Three's uh, release. I think they should. I'm just uh, a little worried. I would clap yeah. when I saw I, it, Jim. If they change it, then they change it. But like, yeah. I don't think they will. Like, that's already what people know it as. Yeah. Hey, right, Jim, hear me out. The 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 chat they use for that game they play, wherever they're going to translate into this one, is going to be the Moonbase Alpha. Text to speech. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. It is really hilarious. That's one of those amazing I, things. I, I um, really kind of want 3. them to do uh, just like have regular voice acting for it, but Eight. it's like Skype. Oh Jesus! Sounds <laughs> like, like shit. It's just oh rough. my god. That's, that's actually speak? really funny. Get some team speak shit. Yeah. Well, well, it's just Ventura. really just like bit crushed. The the joke <laughs> or the the joke the. The payoff at the end, like the twist, probably wouldn't work as well if it was voice chat. I feel like. Mm-hmm. I, so yeah. I, I, think I mean, you I, can it go probably like, won't be voice acted. You can nah. like pitch it in a certain way. You can make it. You can like mess that stuff up so that it's she still like kind board. of understandable. <laughs> she talks. She uses. Yeah, she speaks with a. She speaks with like a Danny DeVito sound. She speaks like like Bumblebee does in the Transformers movie, where just using like bits and pieces of various other like music and, and like radio movie stations scenes. and movie scenes. Yeah. Um. Also, yeah. the fucking French boy, oh my, my favorite God. fucking character. Guy, I, I completely miss Baby's social link. Bebe. I did too in my I'm, first playthrough. I, I'm gonna do it this time. I'm in the remake. I'm getting Bebe as soon as I can. I hope Bebe his voice is so acting funny. Is the worst. Bebe is incredible. I, he literally sure, is amazing. I, I remember his portrait. If I remember correctly, he freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. He's he's a weird foreigner. Oh no! Okay, I it wasn't that bad. I, 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 I hope it's it was the like, cringiest thing imaginable. I will take you to the mall today. They should get like an actual French guy. No, don't. No, that ruins awesome. it. The French Canadian. Nah, never mind. <laughs> the worst of both worlds. <laughs> you need to make it like fine. the most no, 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 obvious. I, I was thinking of somebody else. French accent imaginable. I was thinking of somebody else. I, I just love British. that he's just gotcha. such a a weeaboo. It's so funny. Incredible. So funny. Every time he speaks, uh, that's one thing I'm curious about in the original because he uses like Japanese <laughs> like terms a lot. Like like this one scene, he says "sayonara." So I wonder what it's like in the original Japanese. Think maybe like, I he guess has like him saying the real. Thing. He has like shitty Japanese in the original. Yeah, probably. probably yeah. Yeah, give him that uh, four kids dub, Jim. <laughs> Gomena, <laughs> sorry. Give him a funny Sanji voice. Have him say Gomena, sorry. <laughs> That's amazing, actually. God, I'm just like looking uh, at a picture of like all like the social links in here. I'm like, oh yeah, and they even include like the two exclusive FMC sports team members as well. Were those keep polishing these balls. Or, I don't think they were. Were they? Isn't that four? If MC had volleyball or yeah, tennis, you would do right. it. I, I mean, fire. like, we didn't see them in the game, did we? <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe, I, I think I they, did. S- no, they, had, they had portraits, but I'm not sure they had like, a model. But I, I can see them potentially being in as, like, Easter eggs. But Honestly, the one looks like Yukiko. Oh, I like these characters. One looks like Yukiko. Cute. Yukiko is like a cameo in Portable, isn't yeah, she? she? Yeah, she is, she but is. she just... This one something looks like Yukiko. This 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 lady looks like she's like she she's on death's door. Do you think she plays tennis <laughs> or volleyball? What do you think? 
doesn't she play what <laughs> oh wow that does look like yukiko i think i've only I seen know. like their uh social links like once each uh and i don't remember anything about it but like jesus i really they like really, their designs they clocked out early on this girl <laughs> <laughs> this is just yukiko <laughs> yeah not that it's really close isn't it <laughs> based <laughs> based tech <laughs> It is so, as someone who's never played portable, it is, like, extremely weird to see, like, the, like, isometric, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. it's Fucking so strange. Fallout 2 version of uh, Persona. Especially with those models, like, the weird, uh, kind of chibi... Chibi Hiko. That's, that's uh, what I'm used to. Models like, from I, P3. Like, it's funny, I watched him stream it, I'm just like, he's walking around so slow, there's, like, not really, like... It's, it's I do want to say they're so okay, obviously so yeah. rendered on different layers. It's so I funny. Know. So so like to to the credit of of Persona Portable, like it basically just gives you free fast travel wherever, which I have to say is an improvement because when I was yeah. playing Persona Three, it is like hilarious that they make you physically leave school every day. Like you have to go down I the hallway. Like that. You have to I, I don't know if I want to make... give that up. <laughs> But it's They'll like probably it's like have actually a just a fucking waste of like time. It's just, no, it's I, literally... I know they're going to update it so that you can just instantly travel wherever you need to. But I kind of, I kind of like that you have to like manually leave every time because I'm an idiot. But you know, you guys have Stockholm it, syndrome with that. It, shit. Yeah, it is. It no, is no, Stockholm no, syndrome. No, it's absolutely like... awful. Like use, uh, <laughs> quality of life, but it, like it's it's fun. It, it it's you, you fun say to that have, now, like, but that like kind of routine. You need to you need to experience it again. How long? Like the walk from leaving the school to like the school gate, it is so long for no fucking <laughs> reason. Is. Wait, like... isn't there like a a person you can talk to in the classroom where if you talk to them, like it just brings up the map? Yes, there yeah. is. There's there a guy. Is. You can talk to map guy. Okay. Which Jim never <laughs> I don't did. Remember map? Guy. <laughs> I guess I didn't. Fucking Jim, talk Jim to map completely guy. missed map guy. Ah, I mean, <laughs> uh -huh, Jim Summer never talked to map guy. Lost like an hour of his life. If map guy <laughs> looked like, was, if map guy looked like Funky Student, you would talk to him instantly. But oh, absolutely. <laughs> if only, if if only you look like talk to him every like day, Funky Student. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hilarious. Um, I love, I love just walking around places. <laughs> I, I love it. Like, so good. Did. I like my my <laughs> sheet of paper map to just go like and just. <laughs> there was a okay, so we didn't really talk too much about it, but like there was a lot of discussion about like Persona Portable. Like, why was Persona Portable like the remastered? God, remastered I'm looking at the was. screenshot. Like, the up the PSP looks with like a hot commodity. Shit. Shit. The PSP but no, people are saying like they think that. Persona, like Atlas's brain was like, yeah, they, we okay, need to, give to, them to preserve Femsi, yeah. we will, we will like remaster Persona Portable and use like terrible AI, like background scaling things. No, and, it like, makes perfect sense seen... why they would think like, yeah, let's do that. Let's at least make sure that Portable exists so that people can still play in Femsi. Uh, and I, it's not just. Gone. I didn't play it, but like the 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 things they did to like upscale it looked like it's horrible. awful. Like, the audio it was like so bad, terrible. Yeah. The they like used like weird like AI um programs to like yeah. like add to the backgrounds and no, it's the just like, was, like they use just like a white they, they, upscaler. They they even did it for um some of like the screens that have like text on it, and it looks it doesn't like look good, really yeah. bad. So bad. Uh, but it's so, so I don't know why. Like they should have just left it as pixelated. It looks better. Yeah, it honestly, looks better. So, yeah, that was like a whole kind of like thing. And I guess like it is literally they just wanted to preserve that. I guess and probably make a quick buck. They were like, oh yeah, people will buy this. <laughs> um, but I remember what the point that I wanted to make was. I remember seeing a TikTok of some like, I guess like a nineteen year old guy who was like furious. He was like, he's like. Atlas, they picked the wrong version. I've never played Persona 3, but I wanted the Persona 5 like elements. I wanted to be able to walk around school and like talk to people. And it was like not ironic at all. He was like being very serious. Yeah. He he could not like he could not deal with the visual novel elements of uh Persona Portable. Visual novel is a shit. <laughs> Basically, that he, that was him. So, um I guess he's happy now. Hopefully. Angry Persona. No, he's never, he's, he's not happy. Never happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he sits there clinging chi. <laughs> he man. would love chi. He would fucking love chi. God. Uh, 
so I think that really covers like everything that I, at least I have on the dossier. Uh, the, we haven't really mentioned it, or maybe we did in passing, but they're doing this funny little thing where they're revealing more info about this game every full moon, yeah. which I do think is really cool like from like a marketing standpoint. Uh, I love I love when like marketing and like thematics for like the product align. I think that's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably just gonna be like renders and stuff like that for the most part, but yeah. uh, that's pretty nice. You uh, mean everything like goes like a really year two before that? Yeah, we're gonna get it like the the when it's like almost a full moon. Uh you know, it, it does say the game, or it, it's coming out early twenty twenty four. Do you think it's gonna release March fifth? Oh, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Oh, I didn't consider How evil that. Would that be? Hold on, that is that a Friday? Evil. Is that a Friday? If it that's isn't a Friday. the game. <laughs> oh, no, it's a it's a uh, third it's a it's a Tuesday. March fifth is a Tuesday. Damn it! But for me, it was Tuesday. Uh, it's probably gonna be like March first or something then, or some other time. They wouldn't release on a Tuesday. Damn it! Ah, <laughs> so close. Wow, that would be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> mm, hey, you never know. Fucking Nintendo released Luigi's Mansion on like. Halloween, on which Halloween, was a, which is like a Wednesday or something. They just did it <laughs> at the That's same so cool. time. Like you, you're only in the mood for Halloween stuff like the month before Halloween, uh, and then yeah. you're <laughs> like out of it. So that's not even remember, like the best way you can do that. Skyrim released on eleven, eleven, eleven. Oh yeah, that's so the only Skyrim reason sword. I remember that date. I remember. Everybody going- remembers where they were when they lost their virginity to Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I've still never played it. Really? Honestly, good. Don't based. let Todd Howard yeah. hear you. He'll like come it's, to your it's house. It's not a very good video. Alex played Oblivion. Good man. You made the right choice. <laughs> I haven't played Oblivion, but I've played Skyrim a lot. Not enough. Well, I, I actually so beat it once, but that was like when it first came out. Oblivion is so charming. I love Oblivion. <laughs> yeah, when I saw oh. that uh, that Starfield had the had the Bethesda fluoride stare. For the NPCs, I was like, "We're so back. We're so fucking back." <laughs> Hello there, citizen. I I don't want to talk about Hello. Starfield anymore, but like that one thing in the trailer where they were like, "I'm going to make it my mission to collect only sandwiches." I was like, "Oh wow, I'm going to hold up my spork too." Like, <laughs> like that shit is so like old, like old Reddit shit that you I cannot there. deal with anymore. You're the one from my dreams. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Like I, I assume one. No, go on. Uh, if there's one thing that like I really appreciate from the fact that we're getting uh, a remake of Persona Three is that like, t- t- let's admit it, like Persona Five, all style, like everything. No, about- oh, shut, shut the fuck up! up. No, uh, shut the fuck no, up! It's so like. It- I, I, I do don't not need say to that hear Persona the style 3... over substance no, bullshit. I, I, I watched I never that whole that. video. <laughs> I never listen. Listen. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. <laughs> doing the <team> never <laughs> said that thing with the dinosaurs. Never said that. The... <laughs> I did not say that. Don't you put that on me? Don't you put uh, that evil on me? <laughs> uh, no, but like the like fact that Persona Three is like so like invested on making its user interface so stylish. Uh, it makes it like stand out from the rest of the series, and like as you go further and further back, it just like kind of degrades in like style. Uh, so like bringing that kind of like design mentality back to Persona Three, and like reimagining a lot of what it did with that sort of like new, uh, more modern sensibility, I think makes it look so good. Like just the main menu. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, like reimagined really as being like you diving into the sea of souls. Uh, I mean, I was that's, I was that's doing so like, all good. their stuff. Like, what's what's that other game they announced? Uh, Metaphor. Metaphor Refantasio. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, oh, that looks doing, so like, a good. Stylish menu. It looks beautiful. It's, it's amazing. I, I'm very. Excited. I saw I had so press excited. Turn and I was like, fuck yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh. I I'm I, unironically like infinitely more excited for metaphor than i am for the persona yeah metaphor. like i i, I'm, I'm I agree and i kind of feel persona. bad i feel bad that Mostly... like i'm more excited because like this is my favorite game of all time getting a remake but like that's also not I... as novel as it could be is he distract people yeah. st- they stop people from speculating about persona 6 
<laughs> yeah, this I wonder how much bad. how much work in Persona Six uh, has uh, has been done. Because I assume this oh, is what like, this is what P Studio has been doing since Royal yeah, wrapped coming up. Winter twenty twenty four, baby. <laughs> I, I genuinely think that the game is probably going to release like. If not uh, 2024, then 2025. Uh, I, I saw there was like milking. some leaker or whatever that said that it, it was a ways away, but I hmm. I, uh, I don't know how legit they would be. Un- until Persona 5 is milked dry, for like I, every <laughs> every ounce of, of moisture is drained from Persona 5. Yeah, we need to get then Persona years 5 later. Tactica first. Oh, We're yeah, not everyone not wanted even. that. They tricked me with strikers. I ain't falling for it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of the erasure of DLC and like other game spinoff characters. I'm like, I want my Persona striker characters to be with the team uh, instead well, of DLC. Well, apparently, uh, the first like story DLC for Tactica, which apparently releases the same day as the game. Thank you for oh, that, Atlas. You. I, I, I love special. that. They are legitimately our, the worst in the industry in about this. In our group chat, <laughs> uh, the leaks was like the first DLC yeah, with the picture of them, so they're done. It's Kasumi. They, they, their models are probably done. Kasumi yeah, it's and, Kasumi uh, and Akechi. Akechi. Uh, Akechi so like, and like his, presumably, like, uh, like DLC two or whatever, because it's already like said it's DLC one. It'll probably be like uh, Zenkichi and Sophia or whoever their names <sighs> I, is. I I love this yeah, character. I want them to be like <laughs> just be a game with them all the time instead of like. DLC, the DLC bait. Like, if they ever make Persona Five Arena, like they're gonna be. That's the only like Persona Five spinoff that I would care about at this point. Just like Persona yeah, Five Arena, and they haven't, they haven't done it yet, which is weird. They Arc already Sisters did the dancing a lot game. Busy yeah. on these days. They got their, they yeah. got their uh, hands. They got full Dragon right Ball. Yeah. They got, uh, they got Guilty Strive. Gear. They got yeah. They, have a they got Grand everything. Blue. Grand Blue. Yeah. They'd rather work on their own IPs or more profitable yeah. IPs. More but, people uh, just it's funny between that and JoJo, they, they, it's they like got, the uh, they got, uh, oh like, man, sorry, don't, don't even they that and JoJo the have they're kind of getting like shift like uh, what's the word like the second the cold they're getting the cold shoulder like I feel like you don't see as many of those licensed uh games as as often like Dragon Ball is kind of like the big star right well, now. Well, either you're either an Arc System Work game or you're a Cyber Connect Two game. There's one or the other. If you <laughs> the, get two <laughs> the two genders, the two genders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just a lot. It takes it takes a lot more time to make a game these um, days, I guess. Unless they do like Strikers, where they like gave it to like like the war- the Dynasty Warriors team, and like you know, and they do it that way. Yeah. Like they hand it off to like other studios other than just Arc System Works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But hey, they 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 got their dancing game out of the way like super early, which was really weird. Yeah, but they also wanted. Yeah, make, they blew their load. They also crazy wanted to make that... a P three one for some reason. For yeah, some me and Jim had a debate of like. Me and Jim's debate was like which opening like video for three or five is better. They're both really good. Oh, for I like like three is better overall. I, well, no. three Dan. I like oh, the, the dance of uh, the one. three one. I, I ain't seen any of that shit. The, I even like. <laughs> the I feel like the one thing P3 I did like three and P five dancing ones. Like their opening is the only thing about them that's better than the Persona four one. Like both yeah. of them have really Ooh. good openings, Ooh. but like the four has a story too. Oh, four has a story I think attached the, to it. Well, I like the four's opening a lot. I, I think don't that one's like, like it actually very, like it's good. But the it's animation not as good. is like incredible in that. Uh, it's just not as like yeah. I, I I understand what you're saying. I think the song's not as good, but you don't like the animation. The part when they're like. They're all like dancing in unison, and the cameras like like revolving around them is like I can't even imagine how you would have storyboarded that. Like it's incredible. It's still funny that game had like a whole visual novel story to just dance with like Risei's friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I Risei too. Like I I really uh, speaking enjoy of... uh, the fact that like the whole thing with the the P three dancing was like a reunion. Like that felt good. Uh, yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I like I have a dub too, too, right? Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah. The only thing oh, I think that Ooh. didn't was uh, PQ2. Q2. Yeah, PQ2. I think that's the yeah, only Q... one in recent memory. <laughs> no one talks about Q2 that much, though. Well, yeah. that's what happens when you're a uh, 3DS Except game that in 2019. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I wanted to say, to speak, I don't think we mentioned, uh, there is going to be new music. That is yeah. the, the thing that I'm probably the most hyped about. Lotus, Lotus Juice back. Smi- Lotus with Juice. his like, smiley face tweets. 
Lotus uh, Hue's is bass. That, that, um, that trailer no music, Lotus man. hate in this, in this podcast. I will not, not accept that. If you don't have like any percent of three like music on your Spotify playlist, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you're probably like just a damaged person. In Look, some you're I thought I told you to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always a debate with like the the music of Persona games, but like Persona Three music is it's like literally the best. Baby, <laughs> I got all, the fucking vinyl like... soundtrack. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm really just excited for like reorchestration. Like, what is Ibotodai Dorm gonna sound like? Are they gonna redo <laughs> it? Are they gonna do the 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 funny like pitch down voice that's making the, it, the, like, the, the sound, sound library the sample? <laughs> they better not yeah, re-record the fucking, anything. Never... <laughs> I need mean, the same like old that CD samples. What put you in put a you trance? In a train. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I'm like, wouldn't be surprised they add like a jukebox mode or like a. Or like do a DLC of like you can have the original mm. soundtrack as DLC. Oh, that, that's oh, definitely God. gonna be in it. You like, bet your bottom dollar. They're gonna they're gonna charge like ten dollars <laughs> for that, aren't they? Shit. Oh, they're gonna remember, milk like, you Persona, for all it's worth. Persona Five Royal had like a weird jukebox of like the skin you were wearing would be yeah. the music from the game you would play. Which yes, is kind of cool, but also wow. kind of really annoying. Like there was there was a track from like that. Persona 1 remake that I really love. I had to wear the ugly ass like uniforms from like this Persona <laughs> 1 or 2. Yeah, what was it? Saint. Uh, was it Bloody uh, Saint Destiny? Or... High or something? Yeah. God, I have it on. I gotta see. Like, I wish I have it on my place. For some reason, I, I feel like, like, like they, for some reason, uh, used like the opening for Persona, the original Persona, instead of like actually the battle theme. The battle Am theme. I misremembering? I, I don't remember. I Alone used Prayer. Um, Alone Prayer was the song that uh, like a was jam. Alone Prayer. Right. I used yeah. the Rido skin it. for Joker for a while. I was like, why is the music so different? <laughs> <laughs> even like the Dancing on Light theme would play like the opening like movie theme as well, which is like really good. One thing I did like about Royal is that they gave you all of the old DLC for free. Of course, yeah. uh, they had brand new DLC to for charge free, you. quote unquote. <laughs> yeah. You You're buying an entirely like... new re-release for free. I, the worst hey, thing... I never played the original. All new Fair to me, enough. baby. The worst is like you can have the, the Persona Q model just be your character model. It's like the oh, worst really? looking That's funny. thing That's ever. hilarious. I, I, um, I remember... Uh, Seeing that there was an I guess outfit, and I was like, "Oh, that's really cool." This is I guess oh, outfit, it's terrible. and then I and saw it was from Morgana. Morgana. And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, because yeah, because the mascot uh, character technically I guess is the mascot character for Persona Three. It's fucking that's I, a mascot title that's character both bullshit. There is no that's mascot a title character. That's both a uh, <laughs> an honor and a burden for her. Yeah, man, my armor. Yeah, why doesn't he dress up like Koromaru? That would have been funny." You gotta make you hate Morgana by taking the the outfits from like the characters you want to see other characters you dress as. <laughs> Fucking hate Morgana so goddamn. Much. <laughs> nice. Uh, classic. Toaster. Have you ever seen the? Someone made a mod for Half Life Two yes. where <laughs> it replaces her as like the crossbow. Yep. What? I thought it was, like the guard. There probably one like replaces the garden gnome with like toaster. I guess as well. <laughs> Yeah, no, this uh, is great though because she she actually speaks. Yeah, she, she says, has like low voice lines. It's really cute. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, base, but Persona Three, pretty good. Just game. imagine Man, playing it feels Half like Life Two entirely. And you don't know this is installed. <laughs> <laughs> you go to your friend's house to play a Left 4 Dead mod, and it's just like a Second-hand bunch of like. <laughs> <laughs> or first hand, I guess. God. It's happening, baby. It's happening to you. I try to think. Um, is the, is, this is from like Blaze Blue Cross Tag, right? The uh, like the, the, these chibi head things because it feels like whenever oh. I see them that they're like um, just derived from a completely different Blaze... like fandom of yeah, its own. You know, I never even Blue... thought about where those like little chibi yeah, the, models are the, from. The lobby systems of Blaze yeah, Blue Cross Tag like, is like a, yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a chibi models of everybody and they have Persona. You know, four character arena characters in there. And I'm wow! A, like Ru- there's Ruby versions of them as well, Jim. Right. Like. Oh my God! Really? Yeah, because Ruby Ruby was the guest character in that game, so you have yeah. Ruby fight at I guess if you wanted to. Man, in hindsight, cross tag battle was the weirdest. 
It's a, I I remember just like watching the trailer, like oh look a new fighting game, like a team up, you know, versus fighting game. It's cool with all these Arxis weird characters, and like they like oh yeah, Ruby's here. I'm like what the. F-? It felt like '90s <laughs> era fighting game asset reuse. <laughs> yeah, these fucking little things. These things you just want to fucking smash them with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> like baby Yodas, I just want to like. Yeah, intrusive thoughts. I don't mean it. Now, Toe, you're fine. <laughs> I just want to put it in my mouth and bite down as hard as I can. <laughs> like when you want to chuck your phone out the car window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean it. These are actually really cute. Yeah, what, I like these. Like, if you want to look up what the pre order bonus is or like special edition of Persona 3 Reload is, <laughs> they don't have those yet. Yeah. I don't they don't think. have them yet? I, I might. They're going to announce might it like. Dip. <laughs> They're going to announce it offhand at some point, and it's going to be gone in a second. Probably when the release date comes out, uh, they'll they'll have the special edition. I'm pretty I'm good at getting with... special editions. I managed to get the, uh, the Shin Megami Tensei 5 one. So I'm looking at what the... Oh, yeah? yeah. I'm shit I'm looking at what the, what the royal special edition was. It was like a Phantom Thieves mask, a soundtrack, and an art book. So I would bet it's going to come with an evoker. Like a little stand for the evoker. <laughs> you oh, get a model gun. gun. It won't be a mo- no. It's gonna be stuck to a stand though, so you can't like point like point. You just rip it, it off. We'll the say stand. Uh, the evokers aren't like straight up guns. They have like, or at least they're like kind of muzzle, like short barrels or whatever. Uh, they they look they look a little more stylish. There was an, also another edition of Persona Five Royal that came with like a treasure chest and like a catchy's briefcase, like yeah, felt bag or something like that. And the Persona, I got the Perso- original Persona 5, like, they had, like, a standard, oh uh, like, a limited and, metal like, a book. special. The metal book. Yeah, I got I the, have. I got the limited edition, the middle one that I had, had the steel book, like, yeah. a terrible, it has, like, a terrible, like, little bag that you can't use. Uh, a tiny, tiny have little, you, uh, Have you bought Morgana a special plush. edition recently, Jim, at all? Honestly, no, I don't really buy, That's like, a gun. Cool shit That's just a gun. Yeah, it I looks a little That's more. <laughs> incredible. I've mentioned this before, Jim, but the oh my god. <laughs> you pull that my, out in public, um, you will get arrested. <laughs> when I um I mentioned my sister like got you know, got me the persona one of her first cosplays was Femsy and she made an evoker herself out of like oh, a very that's impressive. Cool. Really? I wish like she'll she'll probably like if she listens to this, you she'll probably like photo. post a picture on her about it. But like yeah, she, she like, made it like, by like cutting up a bunch of like I forget what the material was, but yeah, it layered it a lot, so it looked really, Steel. really good. For like a That's homemade so cool. craft. I, I didn't have to buy a real gun. <laughs> like, <laughs> I typically don't go Ish. for like super big dick special editions because I just don't have the room. But uh, I, I'll really? get like a steel book or something. Or I have the I have the copy of Thirteen Sentinels, the art book. I have the steel book. I for think. Catherine. Oh, I, that's awesome. I think, I think the, the last one, one I got was Persona Five. <laughs> like I bought us. A... Yeah. Yeah, my brother has that one. I actually saw I bought... him using the uh, the. Shujin Academy bag. Last time I saw him, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. I I bought a uh, Somnium Files two, and it came with like a oh, like a like, figure, like, right? It came with like an Iba figure, That's and cool. it like looks really good because it's by the that what is that new figure company that makes like actually affordable price figures? Oh, Papa Parade or whatever. Yeah, Papa Parade yeah. of Iba, and it's just the coolest figure that I I like I've, love. I've seen a few of those. There's, like, and there's like no merch of like the game yet, really, to have that. So like, oh, I I may as well get it now. Erica Iba. Iba, from 13 my favorite Sentinels? AI eyeball sidekick. Was that her name? <laughs> Iba. Erica Iba was one of the characters. She, she was the girl in. Um, She's the one that oh, talked like this. That doesn't. She, she, she joined you as. She she joined you as like a, Sh- a Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Who's uh, the, uh, the oh Yankee yeah guy? yeah the the lady. She's not one of the thirteen, but she's yeah, pretty important. She's, yeah. Like uh, fifteen I, or something. We'll get around to that. It, it, what, isn't her last name Karabe? <laughs> No, that's all right. Yeah. All right, we're getting into spoilers now. This is, uh, uh, yes, Sam. Sam hasn't beaten it yet. No, so. <laughs> I, I gotta get back into that. That doesn't make right. any sense if you haven't played the game, but just don't. Does, yeah, right. I'll say. I'll I, say I, no more. Play Thirteen Sentinels: Each of Them. It's a good game. I yeah, you should do to that. The prologue. Go play. I it. got to the end of the prologue, and then shit came. Up. There's a oh, lot man. more after that. But uh, I also I just recommend playing Somnium Files if you like uh, 999 games, like the Zero Escape games. Play Somnium Files. Yeah, it's I heard awesome. that one's good. It doesn't. Somnium shit Files is so. Good. I wouldn't say that, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I. But uh, yeah. All right, this is barely Persona Three anymore. <laughs> if you Do like we a, have if any you final like a thoughts novel? about the Persona Three? Do you want to move over to Metaphor, or should we just like? 
keep it to Persona 3 because I got a lot to say about Metaphor. I honestly don't have much to say about Metaphor other than that it looks fucking cool and I want to play it. Like, um, really badly. Yeah, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, Hashino's got me by the balls. I'm going to play that game. <laughs> <laughs> Was that you getting your evoker out? No, that's my, uh, that's my <laughs> fan that I've had turned off for two hours and I'm sweltering right now. It, it's fine. <laughs> I, know, I made a too. noise with my phone, even though being on silent, just played like a the beginning of a video like through my phone where I screamed like, oh. Shit, I left my fan on oh, this wow. entire time. I hope that didn't screw up the audio. I, I don't hear I it through the realize. Discord. Okay. I just like uh, to save. Um, I, all right, I, so yeah, final thoughts on Persona yeah. 3, though. Like, uh, Worst I, game ever. I hate it. I don't want it to be remade. <laughs> uh, it's overrated. It sucks as, ass. Worst Persona game. Hate the fans. Worst, yeah, worst Persona game. <laughs> Reload these Out nuts. of the Persona trilogy. It's the worst <laughs> out of the Persona trilogy. So out of the Persona 3 trilogy, Reload is probably the worst. Um, real question though. Okay, this is just quick. Where do you rank three, four, and five? Okay. Um, I think uh, three, five, unironically, four. my favorite one is five. Uh, to play at least. Uh, and Fair. then three. Uh, is in the middle. I think. I think three is probably the worst to play. Four is kind of like a is kind of like a happy mid- medium for me. I don't know how to rank them. It's fucking hard. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot to consider. I think three means the most to me. But I, yeah. I would, yeah, I would also say three, five, five. four. Yeah, I, I have four, no such grievances. It's three, five, four. It's easy for me. Yeah, that's probably mine. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll just say five, three, four. That's that's how I'll say it with it. Uh, that said, Hell Persona yeah. Four, really good game. Yeah, they're yeah, they're all really good. Yeah. It just Persona Four, all three of them. It just don't hit. It don't hit on the same. Uh, it don't hit on the same level. It, it depends on what you're looking to the series for. Uh, I'm not personally looking for the stuff that people like out of 4. Uh, doesn't uh, mean it's a bad game. Doesn't mean I dislike it. I like it a lot, but, you know. I will say... If you're a big Rize fan, Persona 4 <laughs> is I will good. say, as someone who lived in a small town, uh, that the ending of that game hit different. Mm. It, it, that, that was a really good ending. And it, not it, me, I'm a city in boy. A, in a different way <laughs> that Persona 3's ending hit. And Persona 3's ending hit. <laughs> Yeah, hard. Persona 3's It's funny because like like Persona 5's ending doesn't it tries to like have its cake and eat it too kind of thing, whereas like the Persona 4 ending really commits to it. It's like and it's it's like a Lord of the Rings style thing too, where that ending's long, but it's like you fucking love it. Yeah, it, it is a lot like that. Five I five is just kinda like ah that was good. Yeah. Yeah, if you play yeah. Royal at least. <laughs> Royal yes. has a really good ending. Uh Roy- Royals I yeah, Royals Royal, yeah. extra the and, extra uh, content in Royals finish. fantastic. Like did you, did it, I think it justifies the ending of uh Persona 5 for me. I did play Strikers. Um I I, I like Strikers. I don't I know that they finish so it. weird like It it was nice. It, it's just it was cool to have like character interactions with with like cuz I like the ca- cast of 5. It was cool to have Same. the interactions and the new character like Senkichi's really fucking good. I yeah, like him a lot. I I um, love him. <laughs> I, maybe I just didn't understand how to play that game, but I fucking hated it by the end. Yeah. I can tell. But yeah, I'm I'm a big Dynasty Warriors fan, so mindless like you know gameplay like that, where like they don't really think about boss fights and that kind of style of a game. Well, like, even if it was just Dynasty Warriors, it'd be fine. But like they, it, there's like all these sort of like knockdown mechanics and like the MP. I was always running that MP, and like oh, it's, uh, this isn't Persona Five discussion. Also, the game just ends up being it's Persona <laughs> Five again, like the plot. So I don't know. Uh, it, it was cool, I guess. Six out of ten. Fucking Persona <laughs> Three. My final thoughts. Persona Three. Um, it has one of the best <laughs> endings in basically any video game I've ever played. The story is so <laughs> yeah, good. It, it is a fantastic sort of ride. Uh, I said this in like a, the video I did for Persona 3, but the shit is like, it's so, it's worth it. Like it, it is like such a, you get such a great payoff for Persona 3 by the end if you just stick with it. Yeah. And this uh, isn't even to say that like, oh, it gets good two hours in. But but like <laughs> I feel like something like that sort of like a kind of hard to get into sort of feeling I think could be addressed with this remake and I'm really looking yeah. forward to uh to experiencing it again. Even if like, you know, I could like we get a lot of remakes these days. I get if people are like kind of annoyed with them at this point. But uh uh, I, I I think this one might be able to to hit the mark and uh, satisfy at least me. Anyway, it seems like it has a lot of soul, you know. 
<laughs> Persona 3 that's, with the That's soul. well said. Uh, I, I agree with that a lot. It's funny because coming into this and like I've generally I'm I'm kind of like an anti remakes guy. Yeah, I'm surprised um, you weren't more negative. <laughs> you must have mellowed out. <laughs> I, I have did. kind of I think for me a big a big part was playing Resident Evil 2. Like when I played Resident Evil 2 remake, that kind of like I was like, okay, I understand like how remakes can be good actually. Like <laughs> Do you know it's uh, funny, but... I I played the Resident Evil games, all basically all of them recently. I think I like the original of Resident Evil Two more. <laughs> wow, that's funny. I guess I need to try it. I've never played the original two. I've played Ooh. like one, but yeah, you should play. You should play RE Two because RE Two is a really good game. Like the like the OG, um, it's just a really fun yeah. game too. Like you, you'd be surprised. Yeah. You come decide when RE Five remake comes out and we play <laughs> that in co op. <laughs> That'll be interesting if that happens. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I, I think that, uh, there's enough in Persona 3 that I think can be improved on that I will like happily play it. And I think it's going to be a great Steam Deck game. That's what <laughs> I keep thinking about. Perfect for Steam be, Deck. Great for Game Pass. Great Switch game. <laughs> great for Game Pass, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm generally more favorable on the favorable side. Also, like, I don't know, as someone who I went through the hoops recently, I found I like Wait, did the HD. Uh, Persona 5 patches. is on Steam, right? Yes. Yeah, Royal. Five Royal so does that run? Four, four does five. that run decently? Yeah, I I I streamed it. Yeah, it, it runs pretty good at like sixty FPS. Like hmm. it runs good. That's good. All right, Can't not worried anymore. Fucking um, charge. I've had like no issue with. It. I think I've only ever crashed once, which was this random like thing to ever happen, and that was like it caught me by surprise. But like as, as so like recently, like there's like a big fan community. And shout out to the. Uh, the, the people Mahdi. doing the Persona Three um, like overhaul project. I'm trying to find their Discord. Yeah, I've, I've I've heard um, of this. It's actually really incredible the amount of work that has been done. The Persona Three FES HD overhaul project. Um, if you if you are willing to jump through the hoops uh, and like if you are if you get a copy from your uncle like a special like upgraded <laughs> copy of Persona Three from your yeah. uncle. Yeah. That has like all. I don't features. think that Atlas um, isn't Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll have to be so coy. But like, yeah, but you can play it in like widescreen. They they've redone like almost all of the portraits. Uh, a lot of the textures have been redone. Um, it really is a great looking game still. Like with all of the like HD upscaled stuff. So that's why like coming into this, I was like, if you really jump through the hoops, you can play it and it's fine. But honestly, like I can appreciate like the redesigned characters like the maybe well hopefully reconfigured social links like yeah uh i think it's i think it's generally good and like i'm happy that more people play the game that i think is good yeah as i said we're lucky that you know the comp you know they're actually putting a good budget in the remake and like it didn't seem like a cheap thing to do it's not like they just like shout out like a port of like the the p like p through psp game yeah. like it's different there's a lot of like games like that where the you know the company kind of gave up on them right away so the community just like takes hold of it like i I've been keeping an eye on like the the Marvel vs. Capcom three community mods in new characters by reusing animations from characters that are already in the game, so they make new characters. It's, That's awesome. it's actually think, like, insane. I think that like the thing that makes me uh like kind of feel the best about this game is uh, I believe it was a Famitsu article or something like that. Uh, they specifically said that like the way that they went about like adding new things to the game they specifically like sat down developers as part that were part of the team who uh originally when the game released weren't a part of Atlas they were just like people uh fans playing the, of the game, game for the first they were fans of the game essentially uh and like they asked them all right what did you feel uh when you played the game for the first time what did you feel was missing? What did you, mm. uh, what didn't speak to you? What really spoke to you? What made, like, what preserved the feeling of something, it being something special? And they based much of what they were doing, much of the improvements on those responses that those developers made. Mm. And I think that's a really smart way of going about, uh, developing a remake. Uh, I believe they did the same thing with FF7, and for the most part, fans seem to like the 7 remake. Hmm. Uh, a very divisive game. <laughs> it, it is, but like the when you put aside what apparently like the whole point of the project is, 
uh, a lot of people, like, seem to really (laughs) enjoy it as a remake. Uh, So, like, with that in mind, like, this feels like a really good, like, mentality for the dev team to go into this game with, and, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I th- we're in an age of remakes. It's kind of crazy. Like we had, like, you know, Resident Evil games. I feel like really kicked that off. Like Resident Evil Two remake, and because uh, there were all the the uh, the Resident Evil One remake, I and mean, that, that was, was forever ago. Yeah, that, yeah. Th- that one didn't didn't set the sails on fire like Two did though. But yeah, mm-hmm. and then we had like you know Demon Souls had that remake come <sighs> out for like PS Five. <laughs> <laughs> Which That's I a can't, familiar you know, noise. Talk about. We got uh, a <laughs> uh, on the opposite side. If Atlas, uh, if Atlas does anything to piss me off with the with the remake, trust me, I'll make my point or uh, I'll make my voice loud and clear about it. Yeah, but one you, pissed you know off what's... gamer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll turn into angry entitled gamer about angry that Joe. fucking game. <laughs> angry <laughs> entitled <laughs> gamer. Angry Joe. But well, angry wishes he was as entitled. As the I'll, angry I'll turn entitled into the ticked off tech. <laughs> oh, there we go. I just like thought like Red Evil Two oh, remake man. was very good, and they did the same thing with Red Evil Three, and they did yeah. the same thing with Red Evil Original RE Two and RE Three did of like not being as good as the other. Yeah, versions Three it. Three like for what it is, it's fine. Like I paid like fifteen bucks for it, so I don't feel burned. I totally understand why people <laughs> were pissed about uh about paying it's sixty funny. bucks for that, and also uh the original Resident Evil Three is just like a, it's a really good game, so. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, they removed Jill's skirt. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's let's hope. It, they... Let's let's hope. I I think this remake will be a little bit more like RE4 instead of like uh, <laughs> RE3 remake. To you know to pick a. Uh, to pick if a they really want to flesh it out, I don't think there's gonna be any problems. Like if that's their like modus operandi, mm. we're good. Like we're not gonna be missing stuff. A Persona game is not going to be missing a lot of content. All right. Uh, so, besides answer and fancy, but you know what I mean. So, I have a question. <laughs> if this does well, like really well, will you think they will go do a Persona 4 remake? I think they're already making it. You really? Yeah. I, I think I they've already think, developed I think Persona assets 4. For it. it doesn't matter how well this does. Gotta milk Persona Four, bring it, bring it out of the grave. <laughs> Finally, get Persona Four Platinum. <laughs> They're halfway done oh, yeah. with it already. Hell yeah! Oh, it's gonna God. release two years after, like the original. Oh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I you never say never, but I feel like the reason Persona Three is getting a remake is because there's just so much demand for it. Whereas Persona Four, yeah. like, people are happy playing Golden. I would, yeah, but I would it's want Atlas. Though. I would want a P two remake before Persona Four. Yeah, it's not I get one before yeah. Persona Four. You, you just they know like, if they remade Persona Two, people would be like, "Well, um, Wait, they eight? shouldn't have made it play like this because that's the original intention." <laughs> they shouldn't the have made is... the game playable. <laughs> no, eight, no, they will remake Persona Persona Two. It's called Persona Four. <laughs> yeah, Persona. Shut yeah, up! Yeah, we're kinda, too far into the, we're too far <laughs> into it for this joke. <laughs> Classic joke. Everyone loves Classic. that. Classic. Easy. Easy. No one's sick of it. <laughs> okay, I think Adam. I think that's I have, a podcast. That's everything. a joke for the beginning of the podcast, not the end. Which I think I got, we made. I got the heat. Yeah. I have the heat stroke going on right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Any final? Any other final thoughts on Persona Three Reload? Uh, I find it interesting I... the perspective that they're using for. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Oh, dude, yeah, Mario RPG. <laughs> what do we all think of that remake? I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I, I don't, Not I don't my like this tea, elephant. But, you know. I don't like the elephant. It scares me. I like the elephant a lot. I you think get to that's play, goofy. You get to play as Yoshi in the new Mario Wonder game. That's pretty cool. Playable Daisy is based. Last yeah. time you could play as I, last I time enjoy... you could play as Yoshi in a Mario game was 64 DS. I, I enjoy the reference Thanks. to uh, <laughs> to Alice from uh, Megami Tensei. That's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, it's. I can't believe Gura Mahala is in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. That's a really good crossover. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite demon? Uh, oh, and also um, uh, uh, fa- favorite girl. Oh, oh, favorite favorite girl. At well, a, I would at, say at a three, I guess. at a percent of three, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess is my favorite. Uh, I was a Yukari guy. 
I I guess is my favorite part, character yeah, in fiction. Yeah. Uh, I like guess it. as well. Yeah, I'm all I in. Like... I guess it's just too good. I I love she, I love that little she's toaster. The best. I, like she's the I, reason the ending hits so hard. I think. Yeah. Yeah. She's very good. It's insane that like. I did. I had no idea until like recently that the, the her social link just was not in base. Yeah, it's it feels cra- that's that insane, crazy. Like the it feels only, like that's the entire heart of the game. The only thing yeah. that sticks out about her social link is that you have to like fucking blitz that shit in the last month yeah. of the game. Yes, like that's I that's January. Yeah. That's your January. Yeah. <laughs> I also love, I, it's just kind of a spoiler, I guess, but like one of her last parts of the social link is like, she's like, I have a special chip on the back of my neck. That's goofy. And if like anything that. touches it, it, that's goofy. it will change me forever. <laughs> that's goofy. You literally. Yeah, that's funny. You take her chip virginity. It's so good. It's just, it's like Ryan's inhibitors being <laughs> taken off. <laughs> Persona Take off the cum inhibitors. Turn off my pain inhibitors. <laughs> Entering orgia mode. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the dub, the redub. That yeah, I can made. we get Quentin Flynn as I guess? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack the Ripper mode is going to be her uh, power up in combat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, hell yeah. Um, all right, yeah, Persona Three, pretty good game. Persona Three Reload, it remains to be seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, t- I also Tech, I did watch your video again today. A uh, really good oh, video. Shucks, I like this thing. Everyone video. watched my videos. Probably... I made two videos on Persona Three, technically. Uh, one standalone some point. Persona Three, and then one is just like a bunch of fucking video, little videos in one. One of them is a follow up to the Persona Three, a standalone video I made. Maybe I should make like a Persona Three Fest video, which is just uh, <laughs> the two videos mixed into one. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> you add like, you add like a few new lines. Oh no, I there. cut That's stuff it. out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, As is tradition. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. So, uh, yeah. I honestly like. Uh, I'm good to end it here. I don't really have anything to say about Fantasio or whatever it's called. Mario Wonder I, I Maybe we can do a follow up say, when like, there's more stuff. For- yeah, I I just find. Yeah, I would be down for that actually. For metaphor, like I find the whole concept of it like so so interesting the idea Mm. of like uh essentially like humans essentially being uh fantastical creatures inside of their world is that the idea yeah uh like all the enemies are have like homo in their name uh not like that uh (laughs) hashino you've gone too far (laughs) (laughs) sorry it was too like homo sapiens (laughs) In Pride Month, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the tail end of Pride and Month, and then like the whole thing is like, uh, what if our world is their utopia? Like how we use escapism to uh, kind of like uh, how we use fantasy as like an escapism sort of like uh, that, that sort of thing. Interesting. Yeah, so I, like, I almost don't want to learn anything more about this game. I kind of want to go. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel the same that, way. That's just like an idea um, that like I've really invested myself in and find really interesting. So like seeing an Atlas RPG like take it yeah. on. It's kind of like a, an inverse of Persona because Persona is like that escapism wish fulfillment sort of thing. Which is like, why it has the exact life. same gameplay. <laughs> well, well, you know, I, if it ain't well, bro, finally bros, it's more. It's finally bros. We get a Persona game where he plays an adult. I've been asking for this. <laughs> Where's my college Persona game? <laughs> we got it. We got an elf. We got an elf girl now in this one. Her name is Hulkenberg. Oh, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Oh my god, Hulkenberg. Oh, I it's love it. With that name, name, I was like, because I kept hearing people talk about that name, and I was like, they, they, there must be like a big tank guy. No, right? like there must be like a big. Stri- nope, it's the tiny. Elf they girl. look like they're all based on like previous Persona games. Like you got the main character who just looks like the protagonist of P three. You got the second character yeah. who looks like the protagonist of P four, and then you got Hulkenberg, who's just red. Oh, I didn't know if you were talking about the the elf girl or like the pixie lady. Uh, Galica, a, I think, is the oh, pixie yeah, lady. Also pixie I think lady. she's just supposed to be like pixie nocturne, which they oh, okay, seem obsessed yeah. with doing now. Like they did uh, Amino something from SMT5. <laughs> Mascot. Pixie nocturne is like Sans Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, pixie's the first one you get. And, yeah. Basically all uh, of them, right? They, they want to recapture the magic of Uber Pixie. They're never going to. 
Which, yeah. uh, which Pixie versus Jack Frost. Pick, take your pick of mascot character. <laughs> what about Morgana? Fuck. What about uh, him? <laughs> woods now. Like throw it, throw her into the woods. Get a big hammer and smash. <laughs> Crush. Go into the meat grinder. I can hate that cat. Yeah, uh, we all do. I need to make my video on uh, the ending of Persona 3 at some point. I've always wanted to. You fucking but, should. Uh, it's a very good ending. Yeah. Make me cry every time. I was thinking about it recently. I can't remember exactly. It might have been... Uh, probably wasn't 13 Sentinels. There was another game that I was thinking about recently that has like an ending like almost on par with that. That I've... I've I uh, Persona 3 edges it out like slightly, but... It's it's really hard to get up there, in my opinion. You know what's really you know what's so cool gonna bring up... about the ending of Persona Three <laughs> is when I uh, kind of spoilers for Persona Three, but when you're fighting Nyx and it's just you and you get all of your all of your bros, uh, all all of your ladies say, cheering you on, and then you get the the great seal, which is. It costs the HP amount the same as your HP. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's cool integration gameplay. And then it, then you get Shinji's voice where he's like, let's do this. And I'm like, ah, so good. I love <sighs> that game. Oh, There's fun. everything fun? about God. like January onwards. Peak fiction. No, it's, no it's, other words I mean, for the, whole... it. The, the vibes are so good. It's I'm so happy my, when I play that game, my sister did not tell me about Shinji at all until it happened, so I just like, I armor up to all this love like with Shinji. Ah. And then... <laughs> He's gone. Although my, yeah, my sister's also a huge uh, Shinji simp. She's like his number one <laughs> fan. C fan checks out. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I talked to her recently. She's like, <laughs> like, they'll keep him alive this time, right? She has to keep him alive. I'm like, eh. <laughs> God, they're going to cower. All right, we're in spoiler territory, right? We might as well talk about this. They're yeah. going to cower it out so hard, and they're going to... Like make it so that you can save Shinji and Chidori still. Uh, I think Chidori uh, maybe, but Shinji. Yeah, I, I, like I don't know about Shinji. Yeah, well, that that's like a fancy thing. Exclusive. But like, yeah, it's like... <laughs> uh, I I feel like with this whatever system that they're implementing that's similar to a social link, but for the male party members and the oh, male true. protagonists, they might do the same thing with Shinji. Uh, but like. <sighs> Yeah, that's what right, people uh, like uh, about uh, Tanya. Like, right, if like, you the haven't, characters can die. If you haven't left, gonna do a major spoiler here. If you somehow haven't, like, this is the spoiler of the game. All right, the fact that only the protagonist dies, uh, like that that detracts from the themes of the game so hard. Mm. Like, that's the main one you need to keep. Like, if you remove that, then it's yeah. not Persona Three anymore. But like, the fact that, like, Shinji and Chidori also had to, like, get lost along the way. I don't know, man. Like, that feels super so essential. To Junpei, like, Junpei and Ken's, like, stories. So, like, I, it's weird to have that happen. Yeah. <laughs> they, like, live. Yeah. Hmm. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see. Like, there's a consolation in that it feels like they don't have much longer to live after uh like this period of time anyways yeah but like the, it, uh, it feels so are... invalidating yeah it, it, it I, does I, it just it's just cheap you know it's cheap because because yeah. the fans like them a lot yeah. i it's actually don't thing. know about that with chidori because it's so early on but like it's with the same Shinji thing with a, with a catchy from five i'm like they're just gonna find a way to bring him back permanently like in the in the additional stuff and they make like a story stuff I, to keep I, going on with I, it. I i let's not go into spoilers with uh p5 but i feel like that one a catchy my bad. goat let's go he's so <laughs> cool <laughs> people attach to catchy so much and it's like scares me that so many people like love a psychopath <laughs> Like that. Why does that scare you? Like this is basically just light and L two. Because it's like yo, not, but his his not, persona is so it sick. Is, you're right. It's but literally like just content, light L two. Ninety percent of content you see just a catchy and like made the main character five. <laughs> I'm like, I want to see, I want to see more more horror stuff. Please, I don't want to see a catchy. But that's just. I, I don't think it helped that like. uh 
what's his name? Robbie Damon? Is that a, him yeah, and that's, Xander that's Mobis? A catchy, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, that they, like, led into it and, like, did that whole, uh, musical oh. parody. Uh, I, I feel like that, like, egged people on so much. Fan bases, man. <laughs> Every uh, time I see, like, a million it's funny. everywhere. But anyway, but. yeah. I feel like that's pretty much all we got to say. I just want yeah, well, to. I want to date Mothman over any of these characters. Yeah, Winter Mothman <laughs> social link. That's that's missing. We still haven't had that's one. Creative. He needs love. He needs the love and affection that only I can provide. <laughs> Someone's got to like, right, well, yeah, like take off your handkerchief, wipe his drool off his mouth, and be like <laughs> Mothman. <laughs> <clears throat> I can do the um, Well, it's time time to end this. It's been a nice little rodeo, <laughs> everybody. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, we talked about how horrible Persona 3 Remake is going to be. <laughs> the worst. And how much we love it. <laughs> um, Abomination. But yeah, so I I guess just uh, I'm excited. I'm eagerly awaiting the next full moon so I can see more of Jolene PNG. <laughs> yeah, when, is, when, is, when is the next full moon, by the way? Isn't it the 3rd of July? I think it's the 2nd or 3rd of July. Is it? Outside for a sec. Hang on. <laughs> oh, damn it. If only I was dating, oh, like, cloudy, right? dating like a goth witch girl. <laughs> she would know exactly when the next full moon is. It is a third of July. Okay. Is it? Jeez, it's out for a is third of same? July. Is it the same across <laughs> the world? Am I dumb? Is that a stupid uh, question to ask? <laughs> I think the moon. I'm pretty sure the moon is the same everywhere. Okay. Yes, except it's except not when time zone dates. based. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> what if it was? <laughs> okay. Um. Well, uh, I've spent longer than an hour in Tartarus in the game so i think this can still Uh-oh. be considered a dark hour right yeah we didn't even yeah. talk about like the tartarus time is weird in tartarus there, yeah know? time's convoluted uh it, it's it's a bunch <laughs> of randomly generated dungeon uh dungeon floors it's kind of boring but it's also kind of funny that they make you climb through 200 of them i don't know we it's got, fine i guess we got 200 it, floors like still man gets, i would like for the full moon baby I, I would like if the full moon operations were more uh, dungeon esque, like they are at the beginning of Persona Three, and then they just kind of drop it. Uh, all right, that's all I have to yeah. say. Give it to us, Atlas. Don't cower out now. Give us another hundred floors of Tartarus. <laughs> Maybe even two hundred. Why stop? Uh, um... Infinite floors. <laughs> Good work, guys. Let's get it to forty. Just make it a roguelike, like it was always destined to be. We, we sound like we actually want to play the answer now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a, that's truly a level of insanity uh, that we can only get for sitting in a hot room for two and a half hours. So <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Well, if ever anybody wants to, uh, should we plug it up? Yeah, plug it up. Anyone's got a plug? We'll start with. Uh, we'll just go. Um, Where are we plugging up, Jim? We'll, we'll start with Aeon. Aeon, what do you want to? Pl- oh yeah. Well, oh, so we have to think of a thing. Where do we plug? A thematic, like visit. What would be? Pl- what needs plugging? The board holes. And okay. The, the, board the holes leaks and Atlas. The the board holes and Shinji are the leaks. The that souls Atlas need of the the sea of the souls, the water, the ocean. Uh, got to plug up the ocean to uh not leak any more of the game. Atlas. Johnny Atlas's son needs to stop leaking. <laughs> Johnny, Jeremy Atlas is a yeah, child. Um, okay, Aeon, do you have anything to plug? Hey, I'm Aeon. Uh, you can find me at youtube.com slash Aeonstar. Uh, and I typically, uh, for the past few months, I've mostly just been doing like videos on new JoJo Lance chapters, if that interests you. But this otherwise, <laughs> uh, hopefully, I will start making videos on other stuff uh as for what that is time will tell uh but i want to and yeah uh if you want to see more from me that's where you can check also on twitter uh rating eon star and yeah what about you tectonic uh you can go to tectonicimprov.com That'll take you to my youtube channel i make youtube videos i already shilled my persona 3 videos but i hours ago just released a new video about uh zelda 2 if there's any crossover with that <laughs> uh yeah you know i make youtube videos but like video games mostly i have some uh 
I have some RPG stuff. Made a Fire Emblem video a few months ago. Uh, I made a full commentary track for uh, a playthrough of Yoshi's Island. Yeah, stuff like that. Uh, check me out. I'm cool. Oh, and watch Reps to Gog. Links. <laughs> oh, yeah, Reps to Gog. There, there you go. I'm, I'm done plugging. And then Jim will probably have those links in below. Mm. Oh, definitely. So, all right, should we, I guess I'll plug up the rest, Jim. Uh, yeah, plug them up, oh, baby. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening, especially if you made it to almost three-hour Persona cast. Uh, you... I did not think it was going to be this long. <laughs> you never think it was. You didn't think the first one piece was going to be that long. Yeah, that was like three hours. <laughs> yeah, but uh, if you liked everything, like the video, comment your Persona 3 hopes or thoughts or whatever. Uh, you can also uh, follow the podcast on Twitter, which has me and Jim's Twitter handles separately as well. You can uh, give us, you know, go to Patreon, you donate if you want to give us some tips, a little tippy tip. And you also join our Discord. And with Hell yeah. that, I believe that's all the plugs, unless any other plugs that are missing from anybody. No, that sounds good to me. All right, just want to give a big thank you to everyone who listened and also our guest <laughs> again. Um, thank you. Yeah. And goodbye. <laughs> all right, bye. Bye. Bye.